That's all for the scouting report. For Radio Iowa Sports, I'm Todd Kim. Score big with the Sitzman Real Estate Team. Hometown realtors Shane, Peggy, Lance, and Patty are cheering the Lamar's Bulldogs and Galen Jays on to a victory. Buying or selling? Call the Sitzman Real Estate Team today at 546 7881. Hey, Bobby Blazer, how long have you been waiting in that line? Head over with me to Easy Clean Car Wash. They're going to get you in and out in no time and make that black coat of yours look like a million bucks. Say, thanks there, Mickey Mustang. I've been out four-wheeling. i got lots of mud and stuff in my wheel wells and <clears throat> other places as well. Bobby, didn't Libby Lexus tell you that Easy Clean Car Wash will pre-spray those hard-to-reach places, give you a quick massage, and make you feel and look like a whole new truck? So that's what Libby Lexus has been up to. You know, Mickey, she's looking fine. Easy Clean Car Wash on 12th Street, East of High V and Lamar's. Floyd Valley Healthcare wants you to play at the peak of your skills. Don't forget to stretch your muscles, hydrate, and schedule your wellness checks to reach your full potential. Best of luck from Floyd Valley Healthcare in Lamar. Young and old alike enjoy the competition of high school sports. Some participate, some watch, and some remember how it was. It's only a game, but it offers great life lessons and memories that last a lifetime. A few thoughts from Dan and Lori Rexwinkle of Rexwinkle Funeral Homes in Lamar's in Akron. A home is a safe place to be, a roof over your head, and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. It takes a strong body and a strong mind to make you an athlete. So train hard and play smart. Play with confidence and always expect the unexpected. This message was brought to you by Van Sanitation and Recycling, proud supporters of local athletics. It's now time for high school football on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, KLEM. Kraft looks to throw. He lobs it up over the right sideline. Found Keaton Bonderson down the sideline. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Galen Catholic. High school football. Looking for the end around right side, and that play gets blown up. With all the action, here's KLEM Sports Director Daniel Versteg. And a very pleasant good Friday evening, high school football fans. We welcome you to Hinton, Iowa, and the Help Football Complex for some Class A district football action as the Galen Catholic Jays head south just a few miles to take on their in-county rivals in the Hinton Blackhawks. Once again, good evening, everyone. Daniel Versteg well, with you. Welcome into our Friday night football pregame show of Hinton and Galen Catholic football here on 1410 AM and 96.9 FM. It's KLEM Lamars. We're also online audio streaming at KLEM1410.com. And we're video streaming as well on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel thanks to our great sponsors like Julie Hurt, Realtor at Century 21 Pro Link, Peace Pizza House, Easy Clean Car Wash, and Northwest Bank. Well, tonight's matchup uh, poses to be a good one. Hinton coming off back-to-back -back victories, something they haven't been able to say in a number of seasons, but, boy, they have a veteran squad that's been uh, fighting through the, the tough seasons the last couple of years under Coach Kadrian Harderson, and now they're ready to turn the corner. They've done that already to start the year with a 2-1 and one record, 2-0 and oh district uh, record as well with wins over MMCRU and Alta Aurelia to open the season. On the other side, Galen Catholic also 2-1. and one. However, two wins in non-district play, one loss in district play. Of course, their uh, district loss coming to a very good Hartley Melvin Sanborn squad, the favorite to win the district. So that's uh, take that as you will. But uh, this Galen Catholic squad winning their non-district schedule, that uh, is going to prove, I think, big for them because the Jays uh, went 1-2 and two to start the season last year, and 2-1, and one, it, it makes maybe more some momentum heading into week four, maybe that win over uh, uh, Unity to start the year favors them better come seeding time. Who knows? Uh, anything could um, 
impact that. But the Jays are playing some outstanding football. Hinton is playing some outstanding football, and that's so good to see. With the legacy that this Hinton football program has under Coach Dedeker and Coach Held for so many years, it's great to see them uh, start to turn the corner again and, and get out of the rut. Adrian Harderson, an alum of the program, is doing an outstanding job, and uh, he's got the Blackhawks right where they need to be. They're currently fighting for the driver's seat spot in the district with Hartley Melvin Sanborn, the only other unbeaten team in the district, and Galen can really throw a monkey wrench into that with a game here tonight. Galen Catholic is coming off a 35-0 beatdown at home against Lawton Bronson. They scored 28 points in the first 12 minutes and 10 seconds of action, and then they kind of fell asleep a little bit. They got another score in the third quarter, but uh, still a very dominant performance. They got to a running clock. You know, they did all those things that a, a, a team in a blowout needs to do, and uh, they would uh, love for another performance like that here against a Hinton squad. Worth noting, Aiden Spangler had a great day on the ground last week against Lawton Bronson. He will not be in action tonight for the Jays. The top running back for Galen Catholic dislocated his shoulder during the week of practice, and so he's gone at least this week. They're not totally sure when he will be back. The timetable has him maybe toward the beginning of October, maybe that last week of September. Uh, it'll be all kind of depending on how his rehab goes. But luckily, uh, great sign last week with a backup running back in Cale Pearson who ran for 140 yards, two touchdowns on just 18 carries. He's going to be the driving force of this Galen Catholic uh, running attack now tonight. And the Jays uh, have also... Uh, gotten su such great play out of a guy like a Jake Bogan or a Cole McCarty out of the backfield. So there's plenty of different weapons the Jays can go to out of that backfield. Meanwhile, for Hinton, uh, the last two games, a 12-point victory to Alta Aurelia, and that doesn't t tell the whole story. Uh, Alta got some cheap scores late. Uh, Hinton was, you know, not, you know, playing up to the tempo they had to start the, the game. Uh, Hinton started off the game up 34 to nothing. So that tells you kind of a better story of how the Blackhawks played against the Warriors last week. The, the final score doesn't really tell the whole story. And then Hinton uh, coming from behind against MMCRU in week two, winning in overtime. They had that great uh, first play to Garrett Lindley. He scored the touchdown in OT. Got the two-point conversion with Bo DeRocher. They were up eight. MMCRU then first play. They made it seven yards. They were three yards away from the end zone with three downs to go, and they did not get into the end zone. Boy, that was an outstanding defensive stop by the Blackhawk front, and uh, it ultimately got them the victory. And now they are sitting 2-0 and oh in district play with a chance to go 3-0 and oh tonight as they take on the Galen Catholic Jays. When we come back, we'll be joined by the head coach of Galen Catholic football. It's Coach Jeremy Schindler talking about uh, last week a little bit and uh, what he sees in a Hinton team that uh, proves to be uh, a tricky one, a team that uh, cannot be overlooked like maybe some teams have in the last couple of seasons. Our Friday Night Football pregame show continues after this. Kickoff is coming your way uh, around the corner as well. You're listening to High School Football here on 1410 AM and 96.9 FM. That's KLEM Lamars. Prime Bank is pleased to support educational opportunities at Galen Catholic and Lamar's community. We're proud to support our students in the classroom, on the playing field, in the band room, on stage, or in any extracurricular activity. Prime Bank works hard to help all of our children excel in their endeavors. Member FDIC. Peace Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Peace Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and of course, Peace Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Peace Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. Make sure your life runs smoothly with an upgraded internet package from Premier Communications, connecting you with the internet speed and television access package that best fits your wants and needs. Premier Communications is happy to support our area coaches, athletes, and the parents who support them. Have a great season. Being on the winning team in Northwest Iowa for over 130 years, Iowa State Bank is a proud supporter of all our area high school sports teams. Iowa State. Get 
a special loan rate from Northwest Bank. Take a vacation, buy a car, or consolidate debt. Use the equity in your home for what you want. Northwest Bank's home equity line of credit special of 4.99% annual percentage rate fixed for 18 months, then variable rate thereafter, currently 5% APR. This offer is available for a limited time to qualify borrowers. Stop in or call 800-678-4105 for details about credit costs and terms. Apply online at nw.bank. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Commitment you can bank on. Hi, this is Julie Hurt with Century 21 ProLink in Lamars, your local real estate expert dedicated to results. Whether buying or selling a home, call me, Julie Hurt, with Century 21 ProLink in Lamars at 540-7757. That's 540-7757. This is Connor Kraft, quarterback for the Gaelic Catholic football team. You're listening to Jay's Football on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, KLEM. We welcome you back to our Friday Night Football pregame show here on 1410 AM and 96.9 FM. That's KLAM. I'm Daniel Versteg, and we're joined, as always, by the head coach of Galen Catholic Football. That's Coach Jeremy Schindler. His team coming off an impressive 35 nothing beatdown over Lawton Bronson last week and now getting set to take on their in-county rivals from Hinton. And, Coach, first of all, um, for just going back to last week, I mean, when you when you blow out a team like that and you, you have such a big lead, you have a great opportunity to get some new faces into the contest. Obviously, Cale Pearson comes to mind right away. Um, after a week like that and, and getting them some reps, can we expect to, you know, see those newer faces uh, potentially have an impact again this week? Yeah, Cale Pearson is definitely going to have an impact this week. Um, Aiden Spangler is actually going to be out this week. He He's injured. Um, so Kale will get the start at our, our running back, and and we'll shuffle some guys around, and and we think Cole McCarty can take some snaps at the back as well. Um, you might see a new face in there at fullback. Uh, we got Brandon Gangler, who we feel can play it. Maybe Ryan Augustine, and then Jake Bogan, who's really impressed us at the JV level and has been playing some really good defense for us on Friday night. So um, we're gonna kind of kind of mix it up a little bit with the the guys who are carrying the ball, but we have. I got a lot of faith in Kale. I thought he had a great game last week, and um, you know we just really expect uh, expect some big things out of him, and and he's just going to take the take the ball and and continue on what he did last Friday. Yeah, considering uh, last Friday's performance, uh, how, how much how much did that game in more increase your faith in him, and uh, especially now having to use him uh, in a big way this week? Yeah, I mean that was the big thing. Is is it was probably more. I needed to build the trust in Kale. Kale's always had the confidence in himself, um, but it was more I needed to be able to see it on the, on a Friday night, and and then that would allow me to have the confidence in Kale. And he did a really good job of showing that he can handle that type of load. Um, and then we, we you know we have lots of people who we can get the ball to. You know we'll spread it around um, so he doesn't feel like he has to do everything. Um, you know we we kind of like we like this matchup, and we think we can spread the ball to a bunch of different guys and get a lot of guys involved on Friday uh, tonight. Well, it's going to be a, a, a great night. And, and this is really the, the kind of start of the, the home stretch of the season, if you will. This will be the midway point, I guess. But for you guys now, it's all district contests the rest of the way. All of these games have that extra importance toward the district standings. Um, as a coach, do you like to stress importance of a game or set of games like this, or or do you just want you guys to go out there and, and, and treat it like any other football game? Yeah, I mean, our goal each and every week is just to go 1-0. Mm-hmm. And so, um, yes, it is a district game. Uh, yes, it is Hinton. You know, that's a, that's a rivalry for us. And, and But we just want out there and go 1-0 each, each and every week. It doesn't really matter who we play. And we're just focused on getting better as a team each and every week and making sure that we improve as football players and that's going to lead to improvement on Friday night. Coach, uh, this matchup with Hinton as we're chatting with Jeremy Schindler, head coach of Caitlin Catholic football. It's going to be a, a great contest. They've started district play 2-0. and They're coming off a 12-point victory over Alta really, although uh, hearing from them, it sounded like a couple of touchdowns were given up late and some garbage time potentially. Uh, this is a, a Hinton team that's put up some impressive numbers offensively. They've scored 40 points uh, in each of the last couple of games. What do you see as the the kind of hallmark or the or the big strength of, of the Hinton offense? Well, I think it starts with their quarterback right now in terms of just the, the steady play that they're getting from him. I know in the first game, they there was – 
a question of who was going to start, and I know they started a sophomore in the first half against Woodbury Central, and it didn't go super well for him. And they, they made the switch to the senior, Glenn Carlson, and, and he's kind of been a steadying presence for them. He throws a really good hard flat ball. Um, he can throw those out routes and, and those hitches really well. And then he'll, they like to chuck it deep. Um, so that's going to be something our secondary is going to have to be aware of. But probably their lightning rod, their game breaker, is definitely Bo DeRocher. Um, they'll line him up in a, in a variety of places. They'll line him up in the backfield. They'll line him up in the slot or out wide. And he's the guy with the elite uh, game-breaking speed and, and athletic ability. He's not quite as big as I thought he was. I thought he would weigh a little bit more. But um, seeing him in, in person, he definitely, he, he definitely carries the weight well. So um, he, he's, a, he's a kid we're going to have to identify where he's at on the field and then make sure we, we rally to the football and tackle him uh, with, with lots of guys. It's one thing when you talk about a playmaker who is just a wide receiver or just a running back or a tight end or whatever, but but when you talk about a Bo DeRocher, yeah, he he runs the football, he he catches the football, he's making plays uh, at many different positions. How much more challenging is that for you as uh, you know a defense to try and match up with a guy who uh, could be in the backfield one play and then and then split out wide on another? Yeah, I mean, we did that a couple years ago with uh, with a kid. We had Jacob Nemers, and we would line him up. Half the snaps he was running back, and half the snaps he was out at wide receiver. And and it's it's tough. That's why we did it. And so, um, just making sure that we understand um, what our responsibility is each and every defensive series uh, and defensive play call. And I think that's the biggest thing. As long as we can communicate that, and everybody's on the same page. Uh, then I think we'll we'll at least have eyes on him and and we'll be able to make plays. I know they also bring in a, a fullback as well, and and they've got so many different guys that can that, that can run the football just in general. Uh, what do you guys need to do to to be able to have success stopping the ground attack and and giving yourself the best chance to uh, you know slow them down in that regard? Yeah, I mean we got it starts with physicality up front from our our defensive linemen and and aggressiveness from our linebackers and make sure we're playing downhill and meeting people in the hole and making tackles in the hole rather than four or five yards downfield. Um, and so I think if we can again, I think our our defensive line is pretty athletic and if we can use our speed to our advantage, that that uh, I, I think we're quicker than their front, mm-hmm. their offensive front. So we're gonna have to use our speed and and then just. Once you get through, you got to make plays. you got to make tackles. Everybody's got to run to the football. Everybody's got to wrap up and, and um, you know, just play with great discipline. Jeremy Schindler's with us. He's the head coach of Galen Catholic football as we preview the matchup tonight between Galen Catholic and Hinton. Coach, now uh, switch gears a little bit uh, defensively. Uh, this is a, a team that has also, yeah, given up some points uh, at, at times here this, this season, but um, what do you see in, in this Hinton defense? I know you were telling me beforehand they, uh, they, may, they may try and change up uh, looks against you a, a little bit. Yeah, we've seen them play a three front and a four front. Um, the, we saw them play a little bit more of the three front against Woodbury Central, and then you saw it a little bit against Alta Aurelia. Um, and that was when those, guys, when those teams went to their spread formations and, and even empty sets. Um, against Marcus, they really stayed in the forefront for most of the game. I think they want to be in the forefront. I think they they like their uh, linemen type players, their defensive linemen type players, and they want to get more of those guys on the field. Um, they haven't blitzed as much this year as they have been in the past. I think that's more of a personnel thing. It's just they don't have the guys that are good at blitzing, and so when you don't have guys that can blitz, well, you rush for and play coverage which is what we used to do for years um this year we have a little bit different philosophy because we have guys who who are better blitzing linebackers so um i think it's just a just a communication thing for our offensive line just understand what kind of front they're in and what they want to do uh against us and and make sure we go out there and execute do you think you guys will have the um, the matchup advantage, say, when it comes to you guys trying to pass the football? Is is that going to be what uh, is is going to be needed to to be done offensively from you guys? Well, I think I, I kind of want to take like last week's approach. I, I like it all this week. Um, you know, I, I like throwing the football against these guys, but I, I think our offensive line has a chance to go out there and establish the ground game and 
and really uh, control this football game. So I think that's something I, I've seen in practice. I feel like our offensive line is improving each and every week. Um, with our run blocking, I think our pass blocking is really solid and has been from the beginning of the season. But I think our run blocking um, has, has gotten better as the weeks have gone on. And it's something that I know the guys really want to go out there, establish the run game, and then, you know, hit the play action top passes over the top or, or drop back and throw it to the flats or, or just make plays in the drop back passing game. So um, I, I, really, I really like it all this week. I think we can have a balanced attack and, and be able to control the football. And how important is it to, uh, I know we saw this a little bit out of you uh, last week against Lawton, um, being able to, uh, as you talked about in the first couple of weeks, be able to throw out of the eye formation and then maybe be able to run out of the spread. How important is that uh, towards being able to be so multiple and, and be so balanced out there? Yeah, I mean, it just makes it so that teams can't key in on what you're, obviously when we get in the eye formation, everybody knows we want to run the football. But if you, can, if you can every once in a while drop back on a first down and throw a slant route or throw a fade or throw a comeback or whatever the route combo is, if you can make those plays and get, get into second and five or second and, second and four or less, you know, those are, that's, that's great. And, and it just makes that defensive coordinator hesitate a little bit before he calls that run blitz when you're in the I formation or, or maybe that dropping into coverage when you're, when you're in the spread formation. Um, so it just makes that defensive coordinator hesitate a little bit. I know um, that that's something we're always looking at as a team as to, you know, when, when's, the, when's the best time to blitz or when do we want to play coverage? And, and if you're able to do things, just tweak things a little different and, and go away from some of your tendencies, it just keeps the other team off balance. Last thing for you, Coach Jeremy Schindler with us, head coach of Galen Catholic Football. Uh, the, the goals, I guess, of this week and, um, things you're really trying to emphasize on. What are those things, those, those goals, and, and those things you really want to see done well uh, here tonight to, to give, your, give your team a good chance to win? Yeah, I think defensively it's building on what we did last week. Um, we have to make sure that we uh, definitely stay on top of their receivers as they do like to throw the ball deep quite a bit. And then obviously running to the football and tackling. And that, that, that'll be key for us this week, especially – when a kid like Bo DeRocher gets the ball in his hands, we are going to have to make sure we tackle well. Um, offensively, I, I want to see our offensive line really control this football game. I want to see us be able to run the football effectively. And, and, and then in the passing game, we just have to execute. Um, whether it's play action or drop back passing, we just want to make sure we execute. We like our skill guys out wide. Uh, I like the matchup out there. So if we can execute in the passing game and, and control the line, of scrimmage on the offense side of the ball then we should be in for a good night i hope uh, it is a good night uh, for football out there coach it should be a great contest we always appreciate talking to you and uh, best of luck to you guys tonight sounds good thank you absolutely that's jeremy schindler joining us on our friday night football pregame show more from hinton after this here on klam since 1932, Tenninger Insurance has been providing the area with dependable insurance coverage. A.J. Tenninger continues the tradition as an independent insurance agent dedicated to serving you. Tenninger Insurance, Plymouth Street, Lamars. Does it bug you to drive through a car wash to get the bugs off and all you get is a wet car with the bugs still there? Then drive to the Easy Clean Car Wash in Lamars. With Easy Clean state-of-the-art technology, you'll be in and out in just minutes with a bug-free shine. And a tenant will assist you. They'll pre-wash the hard-to-reach areas to get those bugs off. Choose from a single wash or a gift card where you receive the sixth wash free. Or how about an annual pass with unlimited washes for a year? Satisfaction guaranteed at Easy Clean Car Wash just east of High V on 12th Street in the Mars. Easy Clean Car Wash, making it easy. Galen Catholic School, excellence in education, leadership through Christ. For information, check their website at galencatholic.org. Campbell's Lawn and Landscape is a proud supporter of local athletics. Hard work and determination is what leads to success, and just like the team, Campbell's Lawn and Landscapes believes the same with their business. Give them a call today at 540-5434. A home is a safe place to be, a roof over your head, and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. 
Church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. Success is born of skill and team. Like the teams playing, CNOS has combined award-winning skill and teamwork into the premier medical facility in the region. For the areas of joint, bone, muscle, nerve, and brain are treated with the skills of comprehensive care from a team of highly trained experts. And CNOS takes care of many of the student-athletes in Siouxland. CNOS is proud to bring you this game. Go to cnos.net to learn more. Connected Electric South is your electrical headquarters for residential, commercial, and agriculture. Call for a free quote today at 546-5062. Call Connected Electric South for all your electrical needs. 546-5062. Peace Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Peas Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and, of course, Peas Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Peas Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. Klein Insulation could provide you with a complete insulation system for your attic, crawl spaces, and foundation walls. Call Kyle with Klein Insulation at 540-5691. That's 540-5691. This is Aiden Spangler, and you're listening to Jays Football on KLEM. And we welcome you back to the Health Football Complex here in Hinton. Daniel Verstegg with you. On 1410 AM and 96.9 FM, it's KLEM Lamar's online audio is found at KLEM1410.com and also video streaming found at the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. We've got links to that on our website, on our Twitter page, and also on our Facebook page. If you would like to watch along as Hinton hosts Galen Catholic in a Class A district matchup. Our uh, coin toss took place uh, earlier, and Galen Catholic won the toss. They elected to defer, so Hinton's going to get the uh, the first half kickoff to start this contest. Galen will receive the second half kickoff. We're going to see a Hinton offense who has had, uh, you know, success on both phases of the uh, of the game. They've been able to throw the ball. You heard Coach uh, Schindler talk about the offense starting with their quarterback Glenn Carlson and there's a big reason for that he's completed 51 percent of his passes for 454 yards and five touchdowns and then he facilitates that ground game so well whether it's giving it to a Garrett Lindley at a fullback or a Bo DeRocher some guy who's so multiple out there on that uh, Hinton offense it's going to be really fun to see what the Blackhawks have in store offensively that offensive line looks like this from left to right Garrett Divis Reese Stokes Tommy Elliott's Tyler Chastine and Jacob Bishop. The quarterback is Glenn Carlson, a senior. He's listed as a wide receiver. It's uh, Bo DeRocher. Carson Pierce, also a receiver. Tight end is Caden Winters. The fullback is uh, Garrett Lindley. And the uh, halfback is listed as Bo Bodie Binabos. The Galen Catholic defense looks like this. The three front defensive line on the ends, Aiden Spangler and Gabe Wilchin. Nose tackle is Will Harpenoff. Linebackers are Chance Carlson, Ryan Augustine, Cole McCarty, Brandon Gangler, and Cale Pearson. The corners in the secondary are Keaton Logan and Landon Ryder. And Keaton Bonderson is the uh, safety. Actually, we won't see Aiden Spangler on the defensive line. Just meant, notice that as I mentioned his name. Uh, yeah, he is out for today's game, probably the next game. And uh, the next to next game will be determined on how he does with uh, getting that shoulder uh, back into a good spot. But we're ready to kick this one off. It's a gorgeous night for high school football. Normally, by the time you get to week four or so, you start uh, kind of teetering on those cold temperatures. It starts to get a little bit uncomfortable, but this is a gorgeous night for football, and we're glad to bring it to you. Whether you're listening on the radio at KLEM 1410 AM or 96.9 FM, listening online at KLEM1410.com, or watching on the KLEM radio YouTube channel, we're glad you're tuned in. Keaton Logan has this one teed up, and he kicks it from right to left, fielding in the back of the end zone for Hinton is Carson Pierce. And that will be uh, deemed a touchback. He, his feet were in the end zone for the touchback. So Hinton's going to get this football to start the contest at their own 20-yard line. Well, they uh, 
A uh, tough test ahead of them right out of the get-go. Not the best uh, scenario to be starting at their own 20-yard line, but uh, the Hinton offense has proven to be a good one this year. So we'll see what they've got drawn up for this Galen Catholic defense. Of course, uh, we've talked about it a number of times with Coach Jeremy Schindler, that brand-new three-man front, five linebacker kind of formation. He says with the speed they have in the defense, it's just the right way to go. Glenn Carlson will line up in the pistol. He's got two receivers close to the left side, and Bo DeRocher's in the backfield directly behind him. Carlson snap, uh, claps his hands, hands off around the right side. Bo DeRocher has some green grass outside the right hash to the 25, and he's tackled down to the 29-yard line. Good carry to start the contest for DeRocher. He picks up nine, and Hinton already has second down and a yard to go from their own 29-yard line. Not a bad way to start this night of football in Class A District 1. Of course, for Galen, they've got five district games left on the schedule. Hinton's got a, a non-district game next week. Here's Carlson with three receivers left. He takes a three-step drop out of the gun, throws to the tight end right side. That's caught by Caden Winters. He's across the 35 to the 37-yard line. It's a pickup of eight for Winters, and it's enough for a, Galen, or for a Hinton first down, I beg your pardon. Eight yards there, and Winters... Moves the chains right out of the get-go for the Blackhawks. So that's what we were talking about with this offense being so much more improved from the last couple of seasons in which they were only able to win two games the last two years. But they are they moved the ball so much better this year, and it's, it's great to see them improve in that regard. Here's Carlson in the gun, two receivers right, tight end left. He takes the snap and gives it around the right side. It's Garrett Lindley, the fullback. And he's got maybe a yard to the 38-yard line. That's about it. It's going to be second down and a long 10. Maybe nine to go as they'll spot this one right at the original line of scrimmage. No gain there for Garrett Lindley. So second down and about nine to go roughly as Lindley gets the ground attack started for the fullback. Under center is Carlson now in the I formation look. Two tight ends to the left side. As Carlson has a pitch play left side, it's Bo DeRocher turning up the seams. He's got positive yardage to the 39-yard line. A two-yard gain for Bo DeRocher is going to set up third down and a little bit more manageable eight. Third down and eight now for Hinton. And now what do you what do you want to go to now? Third down and eight upcoming here for the Blackhawks from their own 39-yard line. Let's see if Galen's defense can come up with a stand. 10.05 left to go. Here in quarter number one, Jays and Blackhawks are scoreless here in the first quarter. It is Carlson lining up in the gun. Two receivers right and one receiver left. Tight end on the right side. A play action, bootleg right side. Carlson looking to throw down the sideline. He's got DeRocher with a leaping grab. Across midfield into Galen Catholic territory. What a catch by DeRocher. And that's going to be good enough for a, Galen, or for a Hinton first down into Galen Catholic territory. 20 yards on the reception of Bo DeRocher, and that's what we talked about with uh, Coach Schindler in the pregame is that you know, the, the versatility that Bo DeRocher allows you on any given play, whether he lines up in the backfield as a running back or he splits out wide as a running back or a wide receiver, excuse me, he, he could do so much for you. First down and 10 now for the Blackhawks from the Galen Catholic 41-yard line. It'll be two receivers to the right and a tight end right side of Glenn Carlson in the gun, and a receiver split out wide to the left. They give it on a jet sweep around the right side. Garrett Lindley sheds the tackle, gets across the 40. He keeps the pile moving to the 35-yard line. A gain of six there for Garrett Lindley, and it's going to be second down and four. What a great carry by Lindley. Should have lost maybe a couple of yards if he just gave things up and went down on the initial hit, but instead he gets a lot of positive yardage and we'll have second down and four from the Galen Catholic 35-yard line. We'll see if Hinton can now take advantage of this. Lining up in the gun, they'll have two receivers left and a fullback on the left hip of Glenn Carlson, tailback directly behind him. Carlson takes a snap, fumbles the snap. He's going to have to dive on it and loses a few yards. Does not lose the football, though, thank goodness. And they'll spot him back at the Galen Catholic 37-yard line to set up a third down and six next. A loss of two there for Carlson. So third down and six upcoming here for the Blackhawks. A long six. This is in between the 37 and 38 yard line of Galen Catholic. See what the Blackhawks come up with here. They've been able to move the chains on third down already in this drive. Let's see if they got it again. 
Here's Carlson in the gun. Dropping back to throw. Takes his time. Rolls out left, evading Wilchin. Lobs up a wobbling pass left sideline. It's picked off by Bonderson at the 10. He jukes a defender of the 15 and steps out of bounds right at the 15-yard line. Keaton Bonderson picks off his fourth pass in four games. And Galen Catholic will have first down in 10 starting from their own 15-yard line. Now you could see that one was not the ball that uh, Glenn wanted to throw. A bit of a wobbler. And uh, Galen's going to start from their own 15-yard line with 8.23 to go here in quarter number one. INT from Keaton Bonderson gives Galen Catholic their first offensive possession of the night. And we'll see what the J offense can do now without Aiden Spangler in the backfield. So Galen Catholic lines up. In the I formation look, a receiver on either side of Connor Kraft. Under center, gives it around the left side. It's Cale Pearson who gets the first touch on the ground, and he maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage. He does. No gain for Cale Pearson. Going to set up second down and 10 for the Jays. Second down and 10 for the Galen Catholic offense, featuring a new running back in the backfield and the sophomore Cale Pearson. As there are a couple of receivers to the left and a couple of to the right of Connor Kraft now in the gun on second down and 10. He takes the snap, throws the screen pass to the left side. Bonderson juggles, gets brought down for a loss back at the 13-yard line. Garrett Lindley on the stop. Back to the 13, it will set up third down and 12. And Galen Catholic now finds themselves behind the eight ball. Great stop in the backfield by Lindley, pursued so well. And now it'll be third down and a dozen here for the Jays with 7.25 to go in quarter number one. Galen Catholic receiving votes in the latest Class A rankings from the Associated Press. Hinton, I think, would be on the verge of that if they can come up with a win here. Single back under center, Kraft play action fake. He wants to take a shot on third and a dozen over the middle of the field, and he just overthrows Keaton Bonderson an incomplete. Bo DeRocher on the coverage as well as Carson Pierce able to keep that pass from getting to its target. It'll be fourth down and a dozen, and the Jays send themselves into a punting scenario. So a great job by the Hinton defense. They force a three and out, and Carson Pierce is already standing in Galen Catholic territory ready to return this one. So that's all, always a good sign. Galen Catholic's looking over to the sideline. I'm not sure they got the right personnel out there. They're going to have to hustle. Play clock is down to five at this point. And what we got? We got a whistle and a timeout called by Jeremy Schindler. Yeah, the Jays were not ready to punt, so they're able to, they're, they have to burn a timeout here in the first quarter. 7.09 to play in the first quarter. We are scoreless. We're back after this here on KLEM. Colbeck Incorporated is proud to support local high school athletics. They encourage you to play hard and play smart and always show good sportsmanship. Best of luck from your friends, Brian, Kevin, and Wayne Colbeck. Focus, determination, and teamwork are just a few qualities needed to succeed in sports and in school. At Northwest Bank, attention to these same qualities is important to us. Our goal is to provide you with the best products and banking solutions. Best of luck, athletes, and keep reaching for your goals. Member FDIC. Kemp's Dairy of Lamar's is a proud supporter of area athletics. They focus on strong, healthy bodies with all their dairy products. And they continue to strive hard to provide the best possible dairy products to their customers. That's Kemp's Dairy of Lamar's. This is Keaton Bonderson, wide receiver for the Galen Catholic football team. You're listening to Jays football on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, KLM. Well, we welcome you back to Hinton. Carson Pierce takes the bouncing punt to the right sideline. He's got some green to the 35 to the 30, and he's out of bounds at about the 31-yard line. Carson Pierce found, uh, fielding a bouncing punt. All the way across midfield, he gets it into Galen territory at the 32-yard line, and Hinton is going to have some outstanding field position with 6.59 to go here in the first quarter. Hinton is going to try and make amends for that first drive of the contest that got them down into this territory roughly in the uh, the first drive of the night, but did not allow them to score as uh, Keaton Bonderson picked off a Glenn Carlson pass. So it'll be first and 10 for the Blackhawks. Ball is spotted at the Galen 32-yard line. Carlson goes under center. Three men in the backfield with two fullbacks. They give it around the left side. Bo DeRocher lost the handoff. He dives for it on the ground and is up with the football. He's brought down at the 27-yard line. That's going to end up as a net positive for Bo DeRocher, even though 
And Coach Harderson is going to say, yeah, never do that again. And it'll be second down and five. That's going to be a five-yard gain for DeRocher. The most heart-pounding five-yard gain he'll ever have in his high school career. It's second down and five now for the Blackhawks from the Galen 27-yard line. Again, two fullbacks right behind Carlson. They give it to one of the fullbacks in Lindley who breaks across the 20, breaking tackle, lowering his shoulder across the 15, and he's down to the 12-yard line. That's a gain of 15 for Garrett Lindley, and it's more than enough for a Blackhawk first down. 15 yards on the ground there for Lindley. And we talked with Coach Harderson after that MMCRU win. He said, Garrett Lindley runs like a man. He ran like a man against the Royals. He's running like a man here on the first three plays of the night against Galen Catholic. 6.05 to go in the first quarter. Jays and Blackhawks are scoreless. Here's Hinton with first down and 10 from the Galen Catholic 12. Carlson under center. Two men in the backfield. He fakes the give to Lindley as the option pitch around the left side. Bo DeRocher runs over defender, gets brought down inside the five at the four. It's a pickup of eight yards for Bo DeRocher. It's going to set up second down and two. Now that Galen Catholic defense right now has no answer for the Hinton ground game. Second down and two just inside the five-yard line as Hinton tries to get the first points of the night on the scoreboard. 5.25 to go in the first quarter. Blackhawks and Jays are scoreless. In a Class A District 1 matchup, Hinton trying to remain unbeaten in district play. Carlson goes under center. He takes the snap, gives it around the right side. It's Bo DeRocher. He's dragging defenders, and he maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage. That's about it. Bo DeRocher for no gain, going to set up third down and two. Here for Hinton. Well, this is where you get truly tested as an offense. Obviously, it's early. you still got plenty of more time to get into the end zone later on tonight, but, boy, you really don't want to blow an opportunity like this one early on. It'll be third down and two from the Galen Catholic four. Carlson goes in the shotgun now with Tripp's receivers lined up to the left, none to the right. So three receivers left, and this is a uh, bad snap. That's going to be a flag. The center, what was that? It's a snap infraction on Elliott's the center. I'm not sure whether that hit, a, hit his leg on the snap back or, or what the deal was, but he ended up with the football somehow. That's going to be a five-yard penalty back to the nine on the snap infraction. It'll be third down and seven. I think what happened was he realized the snap was going to be bad, try and stopped it, and then uh, he was getting pushed over by the defensive line, and that's just kind of how that ended up happening. So third down and seven now for the Blackhawks from the Galen nine-yard line. Two receivers left and one right. This is a high snap. Carlson grabs it with his right hand, throws toward the end zone, coming back to the football and making the catch at the two is Caden Winters, the tight end. That's a gain of seven, and it should be enough to move the chains. Yes, it does. It's a first down for Hinton down to the two. It'll be first and goal on a great completion to Caden Winters. Now Carlson had trouble with the snap. He recovered. Winters sensing that trouble. Decided, yeah, why don't we... Uh... Oh, they're actually going to measure this one. Excuse me. They had called for a first down, but then they decided we'll take a look at this one. I thought the near lines judge had a better spot than the far lines judge to give a first down personally, but now we'll see. But that was such a great play. You know, the high snap, Carlson was able to corral it. And then in rolling out to his right, he has the the connection 14, with his senior tight end, Caden Winters, to realize, yeah, you got to get back to the football, man. I, I can't I can't throw that far on the run. I can't can't do that with my heart pounding. And Winters does such a good job on the scramble drill. Get back to the football and make something happen. Well, this is going to determine whether we have fourth down and a foot or first down and goal. And it's a first down. Galen Catholic moves the chains. They're going to have first, or Hinton moves the chains. They're going to have first and goal from the two and a half yard line. Now that makes that play even more impressive by Glenn Carlson and Caden Winters. So it'll be first and goal. The Blackhawks will now have four tries from about the two and a half yard line to get into the end zone. 4.02 to play here in quarter number one. Blackhawks and Jays are scoreless. But Hinton's trying to change that here. Carlson under center. Two men in the backfield. Gives to the fullback, Lindley, who lowers his shoulder and gets in for a Hinton touchdown. 
Garrett Lindley, a two-yard score on the seventh play of the drive. Gets Hinton in for six, and the Blackhawks have the first lead. It's 6-0, Hinton on top. What a great drive by the Blackhawks. Two-yard score from Lindley. Caps off a seven-play, 32-yard drive in three minutes and five seconds. Garrett Lindley has himself his fourth overall touchdown of the year, his third on the ground. And now Glenn Carlson will try and tack on the point after. Off of the hold of Bo DeRocher. See if Galen gets a good rush on this, maybe. DeRocher takes the snap, gets it down, and the kick is blocked. The kick is blocked by the Jays. It is no good, and Hinton leads 6-0 here in the early going. We'll take a break. Back with more high school football action from the Held Sports Complex in Hinton. You're listening to Hinton and Galen Catholic here on KLEM. Get a special loan rate from Northwest Bank. Take a vacation, buy a car, or consolidate debt. Use the equity in your home for what you want. Northwest Bank's home equity line of credit special of 4.99% annual percentage rate fixed for 18 months, then variable rate thereafter, currently 5% APR. This offer is available for a limited time to qualify borrowers. Stop in or call 800-678-4105 for details about credit costs and terms. Apply online at nw.bank. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Commitment you can bank on. Hi, this is Misty Zek. This is Brock Nohava. Hi, this is Happy Phillips. I'm Carissa DeRocher. This is Dave Close. Hi, this is Austin Sitzman. Hi, this is Jody with Exit Realty Midwest. Exit Realty Midwest is proud to support our area athletes. Find them online at exitrealtymidwest.com. This is Trevor Morris, and you're listening to Jays Football on KLEM. And we welcome you back to the Held Sports Complex here in Hinton. Daniel Verstegg with you. Here on 1410 AM and 96.9 FM. It's KLEM Lamar's online audio at KLEM1410.com. Online video is found on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. Hinton with a seven-play, 32-yard drive and a two-yard touchdown run for Garrett Lindley. And they have the first score of the night. They're up 6-0 over the Jays. 3.54 to go here in the first quarter. Glenn Carlson has it teed up at his own 40 and... He sends a high right-footed end-over-end boot back to the 10-yard line. Keaton Bonderson lets it bounce at the 7, and it does end up rolling into the end zone for a touchback. So Keaton Bonderson elects to take that one at the 20-yard line. And Galen Catholic, after going three and out to start their first drive of the night, we'll see if they have some a better fortune here in drive number two. Now down 6 to nothing. If you're a... Uh, Galen Catholic here, you, you probably feel like, yeah, we, we got to get something rolling here now because Hinton's not pulling any punches offensively. Blackhawks striking first, 6 nothing here in quarter number one. Galen Catholic heads to the football at their own 20-yard line. It'll be Connor Kraft lining up under center with a single back in the backfield, a couple of receivers to the left, tight end on the right side of the formation. Kraft gives it around the left side. Cale Pearson trying to bounce off tackle. There's a flag in the middle of the fracas as Pearson is brought down for no gain. This is probably going to be a hold, in which case the Jays will get punished even further. They're going to get all the way back to the 10-yard line. It is a hold on the Jays. Actually, this one will end up being half the distance as the spot of the foul is at the 18-yard line. So they'll probably get this at the 9, which will set up first down and 21 to start the drive. Boy, what a tough break. No, they only back it up to the 10. So only back it up to the 10 for the penalty. It's going to be first down and 20. First down and 20 here for Galen following the holding penalty. Not a whole lot better than what the result of the play would have been in second and 10. Two receivers on either side. Kraft drops back to throw out of the gun, throws to the right sideline. It's caught by the tight end, Ryan Augustine. And he gets some positive yardage out to the 14-yard line. It's a gain of four for Augustine to set up second and 16. So Ryan Augustine gets his first touch of the night. And the Jays are back into positive territory as far as their gaining is concerned. They ended up losing two yards on their first drive of the night. So second down and 16 upcoming here for Galen at their own 14-yard line. We've got two receivers on either side. Kraft lining up in the spread out of the gun. He takes the chest high snap. Three-step drop, looking towards his right. Throws back over the right sideline as Augustine wide open, but overthrew him by just a couple of yards. An incomplete pass. It'll be sec uh, third down and 16. Oh, boy. Somehow, Ryan Augustine was wide open over the right numbers, and Kraft just ever so slightly overthrew him. And so now it'll be third down and 16 with 3.01 to go here in the first quarter. 
It's a 6 nothing Hinton advantage. Blackhawks trying to go unbeaten to start the year in district play. Galen's looking for their first win in Class A District 1. Here's Kraft out of the gun, two receivers either side. He takes the snap, pump fakes the short route left, looks right, it faces some pressure, steps away from a passer, and now finally goes down at the 14-yard line. Glenn Carlson was in there. They end up tripping him up later on. They had Carson Ludwig in there as well to help things out. It'll be a fourth down and 16 upcoming after Kraft is able to get back to the line of scrimmage. And so once again, Galen Catholic is forced to go three and out. This is a statement made by the Blackhawks on defense here to open up the night. Carson Pierce is back to return this punt from Keaton Bonderson, who had a great uh, return earlier on tonight. 2.20 left in the first quarter, 6-0 Hinton. Keaton Bonderson just barely gets that kick away up the right side. Now it bounces over the middle of the 50-45, fumbling the punt. The Blackhawks don't get on it. Ryan Augustine is on the football at the 39-yard line, and Galen Catholic will have first down in 10. Now Carson Pierce is slow to get up. And, well, our officials haven't actually made a sig signal either way. The real attention now is on Carson Pierce, who took a shot. Oh, they called Carson Pierce down, recovering the football, and the Galen bench is throwing a fit over there. Carson Pierce is, is still on the ground, and we'll see what they end up calling here. Ryan Augustine came crashing in after Carson Pierce had misplayed the bouncing ball. He ended up touching it, making it a live ball. Then Ryan Augustine came sliding in and ended up delivering a shot to Carson Pierce, and he is slow to get up. And this is the last thing you want to see on a, on a football play like that. The Blackhawk benches down on a knee as everybody attends to Carson Pierce on the field. We'll take a break. When we come back, uh, we'll have more football action here from Hinton and the Held Sports Complex. 2.07 to go in the first quarter. The Blackhawks on top of the Jays, 6 nothing. You're listening to High School Football on KLEM. Lamar's Community Athletic Boosters are proud supporters of this broadcast. Hard work and determination are vital to the success of our area athletics. The Lamar's Community Athletic Boosters are proud to stand behind our athletes and coaches as they work towards success on the field and in the classroom. Hummer's Lawn Care Service will provide you with the services needed for the best looking lawn in your neighborhood. Is it thatching, fertilizer, or simple maintaining of your freshly cut grass? Call Hummer's Lawn Care at 546-4087. This is Evan Stieg, and you're listening to Jay's Football on KLEM. Well, we want to be back here to the Health Sports Complex. Good news is Carson Pierce was able to walk off the field under his own power. They'll now uh, uh, go through the proper protocols after a head hit like that. And Hinton will take over first and 10 of their own 39-yard line after the Galen bench uh, was upset with the call after uh, a misplayed punt. This is a little dump off on a screen. Garrett Lindley gets across the 40 to the 44-yard line. A little five-yard screen to start the drive from Carlson to Lindley. It'll be second down and five. Second down and five on the completion to Garrett Lindley, who can be utilized on the ground. And, yeah, you slip him out of the backfield on the screen. He is such a dangerous weapon when he gets out in space. What is he? He's six foot 180. Oh, I don't buy that. He's got to be 200 pounds out there. The way he runs, he runs like he's 230. Maybe he is only 180. Second down and five here for the Blackhawks from their own 44-yard line. As Carlson takes the give around the left side for Bo DeRocher, and he gets stood up at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Bo DeRocher gets nothing on that carry around the left side, and the Galen Catholic defense is trying to make a stand now. The third down and five. Uh, it's not been much of a problem here for Hinton to move the football. They've not gone three and out versus Galen Catholic has gone three and out twice to start the contest. Minute to go here in the first quarter. Hinton up 6 nothing in District football action in Class A. It's third down and five for the Blackhawks. Long five from their own 44. Two receivers right and one left. Carlson takes the snap. Three-step drop. Looks deep over the left sideline. One-on-one coverage and overthrows Caden Winters, his tight end. And incomplete. Keaton Logan was on the coverage for the Jays. He was 
on him the whole way. It'll be fourth down and five upcoming, and the Blackhawks will set up the punt. At least I think they will. Glenn Carlson is the punter. And so they can be a little bit deceitful with him, of course, as the quarterback. They can line him up however they want and then maybe quick kick out of it. Well, I don't know. But no, Carlson is lining up deep, so he will punt this one away or at least line up as if he's going to punt it away. Keaton Bonderson standing at his own 15-yard line will await the kick. As that long snap gets to Carlson, he looks to his right and now sends a high right-footed wobbling kick. Bonderson lets it bounce at the 26. It rolls inside the 20 and rolls out of bounds on the near sideline at the 19. Great kick by Carlson. It's not the flashy one down inside the five, but anyone you, any punt you can get down inside the 20-yard line, you got to be happy with that. Hinton will now take over first down, or Galen will take over now. First down and 10 from their own 19-yard line. With 34.8 seconds to go here in quarter number one, the Blackhawks and Jays in district football. Hinton on top six to nothing here in quarter number one. See what the Jays have to respond with offensively as they go in the I formation. Craft under center. Fakes the give to the fullback and around the right side. They did get it off to Pearson who loses yardage back to the 14-yard line. The Blackhawks had that run play blown up before it could even get started. And Pearson loses five to set up second down and 15. And I think Galen's just going to take this into the second quarter and see what they can work on and, and see what they can figure out at this point because Hinton's got them red like a book at this point. Six nothing in favor of the Blackhawks as this clock ticks down to the end of the first quarter. One quarter in the books, three more to go from the Held Sports Complex in Hinton. We're back with the second quarter of action. You're listening to high school football here on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, KLEM Lamars. Hut, hut, hike. Hey, Don King here from the Orange City Ace Hardware. We are happy to have a huge selection of what you need to keep your home a happy one. From Eagle battery-operated power tools to paint, kitchen appliances to apparel, we are even happier to support our area athletes and their families. Orange City Ace Hardware. Who has time to sit and wait and wait and wait to wash your car? Head on over to Easy Clean Car Wash. With Easy Clean state-of-the-art technology, you'll be in and out in just minutes with a shine that'll make people talk. Washes start at just $7, or you can buy a gift card where you receive the six wash free. Or how about washing it every day with an annual pass? Satisfaction is guaranteed at Easy Clean Car Wash, just east of High V on 12th Street in Lamar's. That's Easy Clean Car Wash, making it easy. At Arnold Motor Supply in Lamar's, they understand service really does make the difference. They'll take the extra step to help you find the right part. The first time, every time. At Arnold Motor Supply, service really is the difference. We're proud to be Arnold Motor Supply. This is Will Harpin on. You're listening to Jays Football on KLEM. We want to be back to the Held Sports Complex here in Hinton. Daniel Versteg with you on 1410 AM and 96.9 FM. That's KLEM Lamar's online audio at KLEM1410.com and video streaming on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. Our score, Hinton on top, six to nothing as we start quarter number two. What a job by the Hinton defense to this point. See, Galen Catholic unofficially accounts for negative three yards of offense after the first quarter. That is an outstanding showing by the Hinton defense as Galen was only able to run seven offensive plays. Should be on the 14. Only seven offensive plays by the Galen Catholic offense. And now the Jays have this lined up on the wrong spot. They're starting at the 19 as Kraft rolls out, now dumps off the screen to Keaton Logan. He takes it up the left numbers to the 25 to the 30, and he gets a first down. Wow, the official spotted that wrong, and... They're going to give Galen a first down off of that. My goodness. They started them at the 19 when they should have started them at the 14. <laughs> My goodness, that is unfortunate. And a first down here for the Jays because of it. That would not have been a first down had they spotted it correctly. So first down and 10 here for the Jays from their own 31. Kraft, option play, keeps it right seam, and he's get to, getting to the 35, tackle of the 36. Gain of five yards for Connor Kraft, and he sets up second and five. Second down and five. Well, you hope in a game like that 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 ends up just being a footnote of, of 
things to happen on a contest like tonight. But with uh, the, the way the outlook of this game is being a close one, it could be, could be interesting to see how that changes the outcome of this drive potentially. Second down and five of the 36 for the Jays. Kraft in the gun, he's got two receivers on either side. Takes a chest high snap, five step drop out of the gun, face some pressure, takes a hit as he throws over the right sideline for Keaton Logan and a flag comes out as Logan was fighting for position with Caden Winters. That'll be a defensive pass interference and Galen will get first down and 10 out across midfield. Yeah, Caden Winters, pretty physical with Keaton Logan. They were both jostling for position, but usually in that scenario, the uh, Hinton defender is gonna get the call. So a defensive pass interference will move Galen up to the Hinton 49, I would believe. The Hinton 49 yard line. They'll have first down following the defensive pass interference. 10.51 to go here in the first half. It's 6-0 in favor of the Hinton Blackhawks. Leading the Galen Catholic Jays in this Class A District 1 contest. It's a great night for high school football. We're glad you're tuned in wherever you may be tuned into. And boy, our officials have really, uh, really botched up where this, uh, where this drive has been going. They marched off 13 yards on a 15 yard penalty. Well, all right, it'll be first down and 10 for the Jays at the 49 yard line. The ever common 13 yard penalty here out of the I formation. Kraft gives it around the left side. It's Kale Pearson. He gets to midfield, but gets maybe another yard past it. Gets to the Hinton 49. Gain of two for Pearson. Sets up second and eight. Second down and eight upcoming here for the Jays for the Hinton 49 yard line. First time Galen's been in Hinton territory all night. With 10.30 to go in the first half. I formation look, Kraft gives around the left side. Kale Pearson sheds a tackler, but doesn't shed the second one. He gets up to the 48 yard line for a pickup of a yard to set up third down and seven. Third down and seven to go here for the Jays. And this is a Another one of those big plays offensively that you feel like you gotta be able to get. If you're Galen Catholic, you can't let an opportunity to tie the ball game up, go by the wayside. Hinton's defense really wants to make another stand here again. Third down and seven, I formation, crap. Fakes it, play action, has a man in his face, dumps it off, right seam, it's caught by Brandon Gengler, right sideline 40, 35, and he gets tag team out of bounds at the 31 yard line. Brandon Gengler picks up 17 yards on the completion, and that'll be enough for a Galen Catholic first down to the Hinton 31. Brandon Gengler gets 17 on the completion, and Galen will move the chains deeper into Blackhawk territory. First down and 10 upcoming, 9.45 to go. You're in quarter number two, six nothing in favor of the Blackhawks. First and 10, I formation look for Kraft at the 31. He gives it around the left side, it's Pearson. Oh, he ran into Dylan Hartman in the middle of the play. Across the 30 to the 29 yard line. Dylan Hartman on the stop, it'll be second down and eight. What a hit. Now there's a reason Hartman's got 22 and a half tackles coming into tonight. He just makes plays like that. As Pearson picks up two. Second down and eight upcoming here for the Jays from the Blackhawk 29 yard line. 9.15 left in quarter number two, six nothing. Hinton on top. I formation set again for Kraft. He takes the snap, five step drop, looking to throw, steps up, throws left sideline for Augustine who makes a leaping catch across the 15 and he's tackled down to the 12 yard line. It's a gain of 19, but wait a minute. We do have a flag down on the far sideline. Got a 19-yard completion to Ryan Augustine for the moment. But we'll wait to see what this penalty is. It's down where the pass was down. The play was down, I should say. And maybe this ends up being a face mask. It is going to be an incidental face mask. So that's going to add five more yards to the completion. And that's gonna set up first down and goal now for the Jays. They're gonna have it at the Hinton 
Should be the seven, it's more like the nine. Here's the handoff around the left side. Kale Pearson gets stopped for a loss. Back to the 10 yard line, great stop by the Hinton defense. It'll be second down and goal from the 10 now. Second down and 10 upcoming here from the Hinton 10 yard line as Galen Catholic tries to get their first score of the night. Trailing six nothing to Hinton in this class A district one contest. I want to thank all of you for tuning in, whether you're watching on the radio or listening on the radio or watching online on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. We're glad you're tuned in. Second down and goal from the 10 ahead of this second down play. We'll get a timeout from Galen Catholic. 8.23 to go here in quarter number two. The, the Jays have second down and goal from the Hinton 10-yard line. We're back after this with more high school football on KLEM. A home is a safe place to be. A roof over your head and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. This is Ryan Augustine, and you're listening to Jay's Football on KLEM. We want to be back to the Health Sports Complex here in Hinton. Daniel Versteg with you on 1410 AM and 96.9 FM. That's KLEM Lamars. We're online audio streaming at KLEM1410.com. You can also watch this game live on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. If you're listening along and saying, wait a minute, I want to watch it now, but I can't, well, we've got all of our games that we stream archived for you. Just check the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. Our score, 6-0. Hinton on top of Galen Catholic, but the Jays have second down and goal from the 10-yard line of Hinton. Coming out of their second of three timeouts this half, Galen lines up in the I formation, play action, bootlegging right side, Kraft throws toward the end zone and just threw it wide of his target. We're going to get a flag come out from behind. Ryan Augustine, the intended target on the coverage was the corner, Gabe Anderson. Either Anderson or Winters was on the coverage of that one, and they throw a flag from behind. Oh, and if this is on Hinton, that's not going to be good. That should not have been a penalty either way, personally. The way I see it up here. Our white hat will turn to us. And they call defensive pass interference on the Blackhawks. They move the, the football up five yards and will replay second down. So second down and goal for the Jays. They get five free yards on that penalty. Coach Kadrian Harderson makes sure to vent his frustration with that call over to the Lions judge. It'll be second down and goal now for the five with 8.18 to go. Here in the first half, 6 nothing. Hinton on top, Galen trying to get their first score. Here's Kraft of the gun, two receivers either side, takes the snap, he looks to keep it around the left side, trying to race to the corner, breaking a tackle down to the one yard line, and Kraft gets into the end zone for a Galen Catholic touchdown. Connor Kraft with his second touchdown run of the season, it's from five yards out, and the Jays have tied it up. It's 6-6 with 8-11 to go here in quarter number two. So Connor Kraft with his second touchdown run of the year, and Galen Catholic has a chance to take the lead here with 8-11 left in the half. It will be Keaton Logan to try and tack on the point after off of the hold of Keaton Bonderson. Snap on the spot. Point after kick is through the uprights. It's good. And Galen Catholic now has the lead. It's 7-6 Jays with 8-11 to go. Here in the first half. We'll take a short break back with a kickoff. You're listening to high school football here on KLEM. When it comes to service, your Lamar's High V is number one for shopping both in store and online. Save with the Fuel Saver plus Perks Rewards program at High V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. Protect your property, your home, and your land. Contact Iowa Abstract Land and Title Company for your information to update and record for your property protection. Iowa Abstract Land and Title Company. 
Williams & Company Certified Public Accountants congratulates all area athletes in support of excellence, good sportsmanship, and the spirit of teamwork. A proud sports sponsor, Williams & Company CPAs, your full-service business advisor with a local office in Lamar's. This is Brandon Gangler, and you're listening to Jays Football on KLEM. And we welcome you back to the hell of the sports complex here in Hinton alongside uh, my videographer, I'm Daniel Versteg. Our score, 8-11 to go in the first half. 7-6, Galen Catholic on top of Hinton in this Class A District 1 matchup. The uh, Jays finishing off a 10-play, 81-yard drive. That ended up taking a, a good chunk of time off of the clock. It ends up as a 4-minute and 24-second drive spanning two quarters. So Galen will have... The kickoff here, Keaton Logan sends the high right-footed end over end boot. Carson Pierce back on the field. He fields it at the seven-yard line and takes it out from the right seam to the 15 to the 20. Now cuts up the right sideline, 25-30. Gets by the first wave, 35-40. Right sideline, 45. And Logan up ends it out of bounds. What a great run back by Carson Pierce. And great to see him back on the football field after taking a hard hit earlier tonight. It'll be first and 10 for the Blackhawks as they get things started from their own 44 yard line. Well, that's another one of those plays. If you're a coach, you say, oh no, oh no, don't, don't try and do anything with that. But then he turns up the sideline like that and you say, oh yes, 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 that was great. What a great run back by Pierce. And Hinton has first and 10 as they now try and reclaim the lead down seven to six here to Galen Catholic. Blackhawks line up with first and 10 from their own 44. Carlson's under center, takes it around the left side. He gives it to Bo DeRocher, gets across midfield. A great positive yardage run for Bo DeRocher up to the 48-yard line. It'll be an eight-yard carry for Bo DeRocher, second and two upcoming. Well, that's just that athleticism of Bo DeRocher. He's got the quick speed straight up the gut, and boy, he, uh, he knew how to get positive yardage in a hurry there. Eight yards, second down and two upcoming. Here for the Blackhawks from the Galen Catholic 48. Two men in the backfield as a fullback, one man as a tailback of Glenn Carlson under center. He gives it to the fullback up the middle. Garrett Lindley gets stood up for a yard at the 47 yard line. Garrett Lindley, the fullback for a yard. Should set up third down and one. Yes, it will. Third down and one. From the Galen Catholic, 47, 48 maybe? Third down two. 7, 10 to go here in the first half. 7, 6 in favor of Galen Catholic. And it'll be third down and a long one, we'll say. With a three-man backfield once again, a couple of fullbacks, tight end left, Carlson under center with a receiver left. He takes a snap, handoff up the middle, and this is positive yardage. It's Bo DeRocher breaking a tackle, 40, 35, 30. Breaks another tackle, 20, down the left sideline to the 15, and he's tackled hard by Chance Carlson. There's going to be another penalty flag down as this big carry for Bo DeRocher sets them up into the red zone with a big first down. 37 yards for Bo DeRocher on the carry. And it'll be first down and probably goal after they add on what I would assume would be a horse collar penalty on the tackle by Chance Carlson. Probably could have been a face mask penalty on the broken tackle as well. Yeah, that's a horse collar tackle, so that's going to be half the distance to the goal line. It'll be first and goal now for the Blackhawks. What a great run by DeRocher. He really showed his athleticism there. Not only was he able to get up the middle so fast, but then he tried to bounce to the outside, and he was able to get to the corner. It'll be first and goal now at the Galen Catholic 5 following the penalty. So here we go. Blackhawks have three men in the backfield, two fullbacks. Carlson's under center. Carlson takes the snap. He gives it right side. It's Dylan Hartman lowering his shoulder, and he's in for a Blackhawk touchdown. Dylan Hartman gets in for a score. It's a five-yard touchdown run for Hartman, and the Blackhawks are back on top. It's 12-7 in favor of Hinton. Well, you just got so many guys back there, and nobody can follow who's got the football. And Dylan Hartman gets in for six. I believe that's his first touchdown run of the year. I'm Delilah on 14 And will have a point after try with Glenn Carlson. Just a four-play, 56-yard drive for the Blackhawks. 
Off of the hole of Bo DeRosier. Set it up with a 37-yard run. The snap in the spot, right-footed kick. This time is through the uprights. It's good. 13 to seven, Hinton on top with 6.34 to play in the first half. Back after this, you're listening to High School Football here on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, KLAM. Peace Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Peace Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and of course, Peace Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Peace Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. For all your construction needs, trust Wilson Brothers Incorporated. They're a Better Business Bureau accredited business and will be there every step of the way to get your project done right. Call 546-4135. This is Jeremy Schindler, head coach for the Galen Catholic football team. You're listening to Jay's Football on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, KLEM. And we welcome you back here to the Health Sports Complex in Hinton. Daniel Versteg with you. Here on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM. That's KLEM Lamar's online at KLEM1410.com. The Blackhawks get back into the end zone. It's 13 to seven, Hinton on top. Here with 6.34 left to play in the first half. Glenn Carlson has it teed up. Bo DeRocher ran one 37 yards that got the Blackhawks down with goal to go. And Dylan Hartman finished it uh, with the five yard score. And now Carlson sends the right-footed wobbling kick to the near sideline. It's out of bounds. That'll be a legal procedure on the Blackhawks. Galen will get it at their own 35-yard line with 6.34 to play here in the first half. Getting you caught up on things at Jim Lorenzen Field. It is currently MOC Floyd Valley up 7 to nothing on Lamar's. The uh, Bulldogs ended up fumbling on their first drive. MOC took advantage of it with uh, another uh, with their first touchdown. And uh, Lamar's just missed a field goal by Giovanni Cabongo. So that makes it still a 7-0 MOC Floyd Valley lead. We'll get you caught up as uh, much as we can on that contest right here on KLEM. But here we go. Galen will take over first and 10 from their own 35-yard line following the illegal procedure on the kickoff out of bounds. It'll be an eye formation look for Connor Kraft under center. Gibb goes around the left side. It's Kale Pearson, and he's stopped for no gain in the backfield. Back to the 32-yard line. It's a loss of three for Kale Pearson. Sets up second and 13. The Jays have run the football nine times and have a grand total of a yard. One yard positive for the Jays. The Blackhawks have been living in the backfield all night and can just stop Galen whenever they feel like it on the ground. Here's second down and 13 for the Jays from their own 32 yard line. Kraft out of the gun, four receiver look, takes the helmet high snap, five step drop, steps up, throws left sideline, it's caught by Ryan Augustine to the 35. He's tackled down to the 36. It's a gain of four for Augustine to set up third and nine. Ryan Augustine becoming quickly the favorite target here of Connor Kraft. He's got three catches and 25 yards receiving for the J tight end. Third down and nine upcoming here for Galen Catholic. Ball on the left seam at the 36. Coming up at halftime, we'll get you caught up on the first half of action that you may have missed. And we'll also check out scores from not just around Plymouth County, but around all of Northwest Iowa. That's coming up on our halftime coverage. Third and nine, Kraft the snap, three-step drop, steps up, keeps it around the left seam to the 37, 38, and he's got two yards, that's it. Not much to speak of there for Connor Kraft. Hinton thought they got the ball jarred free, and they did not, but they did rule a fumble. Jays will have it back at their own 34 yard line so Kraft's going to end up losing two yards on the play it'll be fourth down and 11 here for the Jays and they're going to be forced to punt again 13 to 7 Hinton on top of Galen Catholic with 447 to go here in the first half of action Galen's going to receive the second half kick keep that in mind Keaton Bonderson Ready to boot this one away for the Jays. He takes a snap, runs right. The rugby-style kick is blocked. It's blocked back to the 20-yard line, to the 12. It's fumbled around down there. And this is going to be interesting down to the 10. A flag comes out. 
Hinton, I think, has the football after all of that. But that became really interesting after the Jays and Blackhawks started a fight for the football down there. That made it a potentially live ball. But Hinton, I think, is going to have first and goal at the 10. They're going to get a personal foul on the Blackhawks. So they're still going to end up with a football, but they're going to lose 15 yards after it. Yeah, 15 yards, so Hinton's going to get it. The Galen 25 after all of this. 429 to go in the half. Hinton takes over after a blocked punt. Galen's offense is still out on the field. And Hinton, Hinton thinks it should be Hinton's ball. Yeah, it is. Well, Galen's offense stayed out on the field, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, the, uh, the officials have not made this abundantly clear, unfortunately, for us. But it is Hinton's football now. The Blackhawks are going to have it at the Galen 25-yard line. So first and 10. After all of that, the first and 10 for the Blackhawks at the Galen 25-yard line. Well, here we go. Hinton's got a chance to go up two possessions. Big drive here for the Blackhawks, and they get outstanding field position. From the Galen 25, three men in the backfield. Carlson under center. Gives it around the left side. Bo DeRocher. He's fighting for yardage in the pile and gets some positive yards to the 23. Pickup of two for DeRocher. It'll be second down and eight. Second down and eight for Bo DeRocher. Bo now with nine carries, 71 yards on the ground unofficially. He's also got a 20-yard reception. Outstanding showing so far by the senior DeRocher. State champion in track as well. What a great athlete he is and so fun to watch. Second down and eight to go here for the Blackhawks from the J23. Three men backfield again for Carlson. Fakes the handoff to the fullback. Pitch around the right side. Carlson gets across the 20 and he's tackled on the right sideline out of bounds at about the 16, maybe the 15. If it's the 15, it'll be a first down. They keep the clock moving, which makes me think it's not going to be a first down. It will be a first down. All right. First down and 10, an eight-yard carry for Bo DeRocher on the pitch. So Hinton continues to move the ball so well here tonight. 3.34 to play in the half, 13-7 Blackhawks. As Carlson goes up under center, three men in the backfield once again with two fullbacks and a tailback. Tight end motions to the left in Caden Winters. Carlson, handoff to the fullback, right side of the 11. It's Lindley who picks up four yards to the 11 to set up second and six. Garrett Lindley. Man, you get that one-two punch with Lindley and DeRocher. Man, that is a scary ground attack to go up against. Second down and six for the Blackhawks from the Galen 11-yard line. Less than three minutes to go here in the first half. It's 13-7, Hinton on top. Blackhawks up to the line of scrimmage. Two receivers right, one left. Carlson lines up in the shotgun with Lindley off his left hip. He takes a snap, three-step drop, looking to throw back to the left sideline. It gets tipped to the ground and incomplete. Ryan Augustine there at the line of scrimmage ends up deflecting the pass, and it'll be third down and six now for Hinton. That's a great play by Carlson or uh, by Augustine, excuse me. He's made some of those plays at the line of scrimmage a couple of times this year. Third down and six now upcoming with 2.37 to go in the first half. 13-7, Hinton on top as Carlson lines up under center from the Gale and 11-yard line. Takes the snap, left side handoff. DeRocher gets met at the line of scrimmage. He gets two yards to the nine, but that's it. It'll be fourth down and four. And what do the Blackhawks do now? Glenn Carlson has not attempted a field goal here this season, so I would strongly bet the field goal's not on the table. 
Fourth down and four here from the Galen Catholic nine, especially with that awkward angle of a chip shot. Yeah, that'd be a really tough field goal here for the Blackhawks. So they're going to go for it. Fourth down and nine at the Galen Catholic nine-yard line. Fourth down and four, I should say, from the nine. Two receivers right, one left, tight end left of Carlson in the gun. He fakes the give to Lindley, throws toward the left. Seam, it's caught. And into the end zone goes Caden Winters for a Blackhawk touchdown. Caden Winters, a nine-yard score. He's into the end zone once again. And it is now 19-7, Hinton on top. They lead by two scores after the nine-yard touchdown strike from Carlson to Winters. It's Winters' second touchdown reception of the season. And what a start here by Hinton here in the first half. They lead 19-7, looking to go for the point after. It'll be Carlson to try and boot it through off of the hold of Bo DeRocher. They go on two, the snap and the spy, right-footed kick. That one gets through the uprights, and it's good. It's 20 to 7, Hinton on top of Galen Catholic here in quarter number two. Minute 54 left for the Jays to try and do something. Back with more high school football action after this break here on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, KLEM. This is John from Siouxland Glass. You're busy, let me help with pickup and drop off of your vehicle included in your service. Call 712-540-9080 for auto glass repair and replacement. The Lamar's Agri-Center, your local source for Scott's lawn products, top-performing Kent feed products, a full line of agronomic inputs, bulk grass seed, bird feeders, bulk bird feed, and outstanding service. The Lamar's Agri-Center, your source for everything that grows. Advanced Eye Healthcare, Dr. Becky DeRider knows all of our student athletes need to keep their eye on the ball. Make sure with an eye exam at Advanced Eye Healthcare at Walmart Vision Center in Lamar's, Dr. Becky DeRider. This is Connor Kraft, quarterback for the Galen Catholic football team. You're listening to Jays Football on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, KLEM. And we welcome you back to the Health Sports Complex here in Hinton. Daniel Versteg with you on 1410 AM and 96.9 FM, KLEM Lamar's online audio at KLEM1410.com. You can also watch this game live on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. Minute 54 to go in the half. It's 20 to 7. Hinton leads Galen Catholic in this district contest. The Blackhawks are having a good, a good start to get undefeated still in district play. Carlson sends a line drive kick, bounce at the 10, rolls at the 5, and does get into the end zone for a touchback. So Galen Catholic will start this drive from their own 20-yard line. And now the Jays, well, thankfully for them, they're going to get the second-half kickoff to start the third quarter. But now they have a two-minute drill to try and get to the end zone, and they only have one timeout remaining. So this is going to be really tricky to see if Galen can actually get the job done here. And they can't really throw in the towel either because Hinton has all three timeouts. They could just call timeouts, get the football back, and try and score. So Galen's got to move the football somewhat anyway here and see if they can get downfield in two minutes. Here we go. It'll be Connor Kraft lining up in the spread. Out of the gun. Two receivers left, two right as he motions a receiver right side. Kraft drops back to throw. Takes a shot right sideline for Landon Ryder and just barely overthrows him on the near side and incomplete. Italy second down and ten upcoming here for Galen Catholic. And well, if you're hinting, that's probably the best case scenario. Clock stops. You don't use a timeout and Galen gets no progress. With a minute 48 to go here in the half. Hinton on top, 20 to seven. Again, Galen's gonna get the second half kickoff. So uh, Hinton, if they can get the ball back and really put this one up in front, they'd be in a good spot. Here's Kraft motioning Bonderson left to right to make trips out there. Throws toward the single receiver left side out of the gun. He's got a completion to land in Ryder. He gets to the 22 yard line. It's a two yard gain, sets up third and eight. Two-yard gain to Ryder on the far side. It'll be third and eight. Cadrian Harderson's got the line judge's attention, but he has not called a timeout yet. Minute 25 to go here in the half. He's going to let the clock run. And, and you know, the other spot, too, is do, do you really want to try and mess, or mess around with trying to, you know, get, get another score here? They probably don't want to. Here's third and eight. And it would be really tough, too, after a punt as we've got a whistle and a flag comes out on the far sideline. 
This blows the play dead, so it's probably going to be false start on the Jays. It is. False start on Galen Catholic. Boy, I don't know if you could play a worse half of football than Galen Catholic is playing right now. They're going to back him up to the 17-yard line. And we've got a timeout on the field from Hinton with a minute seven to go. Here in quarter number two, it's 20-7 to seven Blackhawks on top. Take a break. Galen has third down and long when we return here on KLEM Lamar's. Get a special loan rate from Northwest Bank. Take a vacation, buy a car, or consolidate debt. Use the equity in your home for what you want. Northwest Bank's home equity line of credit special of 4.99% annual percentage rate fixed for 18 months, then variable rate thereafter, currently 5% APR. This offer is available for a limited time to qualify borrowers. Stop in or call 800-678-4105 for details about credit costs and terms. Apply online at nw.bank. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Commitment you can bank on. Certified public accountants, Cruz and Cruz, extend their support to all the athletes and remind everyone, in the spirit of sports, participation is more important than winning. Cruz and Cruz Accounting, proud to be a sponsor of KLEM Sports. This is Aiden Spangler, and you're listening to Jays Football on KLEM. And we welcome you back to the Health Sports Complex here in Hinton. You're listening to High School Football on KLEM Lamar's, online at KLEM1410.com. Jays have third down and 13 from their own 17-yard line with a little over a minute left in the half. Kraft takes a deep drop, dumps off the screen pass right side and overthrows Cale Pearson. An incomplete pass going to set up fourth down, and the Blackhawks are going to get the football back. With a minute, two seconds to go in the half, they have two timeouts remaining. Galen's got to punt this away. Hinton's barring an outstanding punt. Here from Keaton Bonderson. Hinton's going to get some great field position off of this. With two timeouts remaining, a minute left in the half, and potentially less than half the field to go to get into the end zone, there is plenty of time here for Hinton to get the job done. See what Kraft comes up with here. He's going to need a great punt, a fantastic punt. Takes the snap. Gets away a line drive, end over end kick. If he overkicked it, no, he didn't. That one bounced at the 45. It took a Blackhawk roll, and picking it up at the 40 yard line is Carter Warden, and he's down to the Galen Catholic 40 yard line. Great bounce for the Blackhawks. They're going to get it with 40 yards to go. They've got 55 seconds left before halftime. It's 20 to 7. Hinton leads Galen Catholic. The Blackhawks have a chance to get another score here before the break and go up three possessions. Galen's going to get the second half kickoff. Keep that in mind. And it'll be first and ten here for Hinton at the Galen Catholic 40-yard line. Wow, Sione Fafita with a 100-yard pick six has tied the game at halftime for Lamar's and MOC Floyd Valley. Here's Carlson dropping a throw. Passes wide of his target short of Caden Winters at incomplete. Ryan Augustine was on the coverage as well. And it'll be second down and 10 here for the Blackhawks. Well, not a whole lot of time taken off the clock on that one. You don't get any progress either, but no, no not too much lost on that play. 52 seconds, 51.7 to be exact. Blackhawks again, they do have two timeouts remaining, have second and 10 from the Galen 40. Henson lining up in the gun with Carlson. Two receivers right, one left, tight end left. He takes the chest high snap. Three-step drop, throws right sideline. Just a little too tall for Bo DeRocher, an incomplete. Now set up third down and 10 on the slightly overthrown ball. So third down and 10 here for the Blackhawks. And, well, unfortunately, this may set up a kind of kickback scenario for Hinton. Again, they're in the driver's seat of the game, though, so if they don't score here, it's not the worst thing in the world. Obviously, they want to, but they're still in a good spot. Uh, nothing, nothing's lost at this point. Third down and 10 for the Blackhawks from the Galen 40-yard line. Carlson out of the gun. He gives it around the left side. It is Garrett Lindley who gets stopped for no gain at the 41-yard line. He loses a yard, sets up fourth down and 11, and Jeremy Schindler calls a timeout. He's going to make the, the Blackhawks do something on fourth down here. So they're going to 
make the Blackhawks play their fourth down and 11. We're going to keep it here. We're going to have a nice long uh, commercial break heading into the halftime break. Do want to thank our great uh, football sponsors bringing you the action here on KLAM Radio, like the Lamar's Agri Center, Advance Eye Healthcare, Cruise and Cruise Accounting, OH Livermore Construction, Williams and Company, American Bank, Clausen's Clothing, the Sitzman Real Estate Team, as well as Easy Clean Car Wash, Floyd Valley Healthcare, Rexwinkle Funeral Home, Van Sanitation, Prime Bank, Timmins Construction, Premier Communications, Iowa State Bank, Julie Hurt, Realtor at Century 21 Pro Link, Tenninger Insurance, Scaling Catholic Schools, as well as Campbell's Lawn and Landscaping, CNOS, Connected Electric South, Klein Insulation, Colbeck Incorporated, Murphy Collins and McGill PLC, Northwest Bank, Kemp's Dairy, Exit Realty Midwest, Lamar's Athletics Booster Club, Hummer's Lawn Care, Horn City Ace Hardware, Arnold Motor Supply, Hy-Vee, Iowa Abstract and Title Company, Williams and Company, Wilchin Brothers Construction, and Sioux Lane Glass. Hinton lines up to punt this one away from the Galen Catholic 41-yard line. And back deep at his own 10-yard line will be Keaton Bonderson. With 36 seconds to go here before halftime, Carlson gets the uh, kick away, sends a high right-footed boot, and Bonderson lets it bounce at the 17, lets it roll down to the 12-yard line. He is not happy. He doesn't get a chance to return this one. 26 seconds left before halftime. Galen will start first and 10 from their own 12, but I have a feeling that they probably won't do a whole lot with it. So from the Galen Catholic 12, they'll start this drive before the half with 26 seconds left to play before halftime. And again, coming up at halftime, we're going to break down the action that you may have missed right here on KLEM Radio. We'll get you caught up on the uh, stats and break down the action for you. We'll also get you scores from around Northwest Iowa with a specific look at the Plymouth County scores uh, coming up at halftime as well. So here we go. First down and 10 for the Jays from their own 14-yard line. And Kraft will go under center. He fakes the handoff. Why not take a shot? Deep over the left seam for Keaton Bonderson. Overthrows him an incomplete. And it'll be second down and 10. Second down and 10 upcoming here for Galen Catholic with 20 seconds left before the half. Now, does Galen keep taking shots or do they just run it out here now? Second down and 10. Hinton now does have a couple of timeouts if they wanted to really be a gamesmanship hit with this. But Kraft lines up in the I formation, takes the snap, gives it around the left side. It's Cale Pearson breaking tackles to the 20. Stood up at the 23-yard line, and that's all he's going to get. Nine yards for Cale Pearson. We'll set up third and one, but we won't, or will we see that third and one play? No, we're going to have an injury timeout. All right, so the Blackhawks have a player down after that. Oh, that's the last thing you want to see in this scenario. Again, we've had now two stoppages in of play due to a player down, and you know, the Blackhawk and the Galen Catholic training staff are out on the field trying to tend to the injured Blackhawk. Our score, 20-7 to seven in favor of Hinton. 8.3 seconds to go before halftime. I wonder if the Jays are talking to our officiating crew and saying, yeah, we probably won't run another play here as long as Hinton doesn't call another timeout. Do we just want to take this one into the halftime break? Guess they got to consult with Hinton a little bit too, but the coaches are talking to our white hat right now and another official on the far sideline. Both uh, benches with players down to a knee as they attend to the injured Blackhawk. We'll step aside here for just a moment. We're back after this with more high school football here on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, KLEM. Whether you're building, remodeling, or renovating, choose the professional that you've come to trust. OH Livermore Construction. From commercial to residential, remodeling to a complete renovation, contact OH Livermore Construction for a free estimate today. 540-6247. OH Livermore Construction, Lamar's. Williams & Company Certified Public Accountants congratulates all area athletes in support of excellence, good sportsmanship, and the spirit of teamwork. A proud sports sponsor, Williams & Company CPAs, your full-service business advisor with a local office in Lamar's. At American Bank, we believe in offering you what you want in a bank. Free checking, free debit and ATM cards, extended lobby and drive-up hours, competitive loans and deposit rates, online and mobile banking with bill payment and mobile deposit services. American Bank, achieving success together for over 130 years. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. 
It's the corner for fashion. Clausen's on the corner downtown Lamar's. For men's, young men's, and ladies' clothing, a shoe department, and formal wear, too. In-store alterations, gift cards, and personal service. Clausen's on the corner downtown Lamar's. This is Keaton Vonderson, wide receiver for the Galen Catholic football team. You're listening to Jay's Football on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, KLM. Well, we welcome you back here to Hinton and the Held Sports Complex. If you're a Blackhawk fan, this is not a good sight. Glenn Carlson being helped off of the field. Jays are lined up to start the next play here on third down. Hinton does end up calling a timeout here with eight seconds to go in the half, but this is the last thing you want to see, Glenn Carlson being helped off the field, not putting any weight on uh, one of those legs, and a player that's done so much here for the Blackhawks this season, getting them back to prominence again. Two wins here to start the season. A lot stronger than what any Hinton team has done over the last couple of seasons, and now, Carlson's a mainstay about that. You ask any team around the area that's had to play Hinton this year, like Coach Schindler talked about in the pregame, their offense starts and ends with uh, Glenn Carlson. When he's on, they're on, and he's been on tonight, and it's really tough to see him walk off the field or uh, limp off the field like that. And, gosh, we hope it's nothing major. Thankfully, he'll have the half to, to kind of get it back to maybe full strength or, or what have you, but... Uh, Galen still got one more play to run here. They're going to have a third down and one following the Hinton timeout with eight seconds to go in the half. So the Jays will line up in the gun, see if they can take a shot. Kraft drops back to throw, takes a deep drop, throws deep over the left sideline. Keaton Logan trying to come back to the football, can't do it. It's incomplete. Two and a half seconds remain in the half. And so the Jays will have to kick this one away. Well, who knew a minute could be stretched into about 12 or 13. Be fourth down and one for the Jays with two and a half seconds left to play before halftime. This will undoubtedly be the last play before the half. And it will feature Galen going for it here on fourth and one. Three receivers right, one left. Craft in the gun, he takes the chest high snap. Five step drop, faces some pressure and throws it deep over the middle of the field. Leaping try by Augustine, it goes through his hands at incomplete. Turnover on downs, but it also sends us into the half. Our score at halftime is Hinton 20, Galen Catholic 7. What a strong performance here in the first half by the Hinton defense. Hinton offense is also uh, playing some outstanding football. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have your first half stats, break down the action that you may have missed, and get you scores from around Northwest Iowa. That's all coming up on our halftime coverage from the Held Sports Complex. It's 20-7. to 7. In favor of the Hinton Blackhawks, we're back after this with our halftime coverage here on KLAM Lamars. Score big with the Sitzman Real Estate Team. Hometown realtors Shane, Peggy, Lance, and Patty are cheering the Lamars Bulldogs and Galen Jays on to a victory. Buying or selling? Call the Sitzman Real Estate Team today at 546-7881. Who has time to sit and wait and wait and wait to wash your car? Choose Easy Clean Car Wash. We'll have you in and out in under four minutes with a shine that will make people talk. Easy Clean Car Wash, making it easy. Just east of Hy-Vee on 12th Street, Lamar's. Floyd Valley Healthcare wants you to play at the peak of your skills. Don't forget to stretch your muscles, hydrate, and schedule your wellness checks to reach your full potential. Best of luck from Floyd Valley Healthcare in Lamar's. Hi, Jessica G. Well, hello, Libby Lexus. I'm so excited to get the spa treatment at Easy Clean Car Wash. My owner knows how much I love the soft water. Oh, and the quick massage just makes my bumpers tingle. And the blow dry is to die for. It always leaves my exterior sleek and shiny. My owner bought me a year pass so I can have the spa treatment anytime I oh, want. Hey, ladies. Ooh, nice tires. Oh, Mickey Mustang, you're such a player. <laughs> Easy Clean Car Wash. Give your car the spa treatment today. 12th Street East of Hy-Vee, Mars. Young and old alike, enjoy the competition of high school sports. Some participate, some watch, and some remember how it was. It's only a game, but it offers great life lessons and memories that last a lifetime. A few thoughts from Dan and Lori Rexwinkle of Rexwinkle Funeral Homes in Lamar's in Akron. It takes a strong body and a strong mind to make you an athlete. So train hard and play smart. Play with confidence and always expect the unexpected. This message was brought to you by Van Sanitation and Recycling, proud supporters of local athletics. 
A home is a safe place to be, a roof over your head and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. Prime Bank is pleased to support educational opportunities at Galen Catholic and Lamar's community. We're proud to support our students in the classroom, on the playing field, in the band room, on stage, or in any extracurricular activity. Prime Bank works hard to help all of our children excel in their endeavors. Member FDIC. Make sure your life runs smoothly with an upgraded internet package from Premier Communications, connecting you with the internet speed and television access package that best fits your wants and needs. Premier Communications is happy to support our area coaches, athletes, and the parents who support them. Have a great season. Being on the winning team in Northwest Iowa for over 130 years, Iowa State Bank is a proud supporter of all our area high school sports teams. Iowa State Bank, we're ready for you. This is Trevor Morris, and you're listening to Jays Football on KLEM. Well, we want to be back to our halftime coverage here from the Held Sports Complex in Hinton. Daniel Versteg with you. Here on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM. That's KLEM Lamar's online audio streaming on the KLEM website, KLEM1410.com. You can also watch this game live on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. And for those of you watching, you're being treated to the uh, junior cheer team out there for the Enton uh, Blackhawks. They, uh, they got the junior uh, cheer cheerleaders out there and you know, performing a, a nice routine for their many adoring fans, a.k.a. All of those uh, parents and grandparents uh, out there to see them. Our score here at half is uh, Hinton 20, Galen Catholic 7. What a showing by Hinton here in the first half. Defensively, offensively, uh, you name it, they've been doing it. Let's, uh, let's break this down for you. Hinton got the first drive of the contest. Got all the way down to the Galen 37-yard line, and then Cl Glenn Carlson had one slip just a bit. It ended up uh, hanging up in the air for Keaton Bonderson to pick it off, and Galen would start their first drive. They would go three and out and punt it, and then Hinton got great field position, a good return from Carson Pierce. They started the Galen 32-yard line, and seven plays later, we're into the end zone in a Garrett Lindley touchdown run. That made it six to nothing. A couple more punts to follow from both Galen and Hinton. Then Galen got the football. Had a little bit of help from some bad spots and were able to get into the end zone on a five-yard touchdown run from Connor Kraft. That made it 7-6. to six. That's Galen's only lead of the contest was early on here in quarter number two. It was a 10-play, 81-yard drive in four and a half minutes. Hinton had a quick response, though. It only took him four plays, 56 yards to get into the end zone on a five-yard touchdown run from Dylan Hartman. That made it 13-7. to seven. Jays would go three and out again. Their punt was blocked. Ga uh, Hinton took over at the Galen 25-yard line. They got in on a six-play, 25-yard drive. Took two minutes and 35 seconds off of the first half clock. And Hinton leads 20-7 to seven after a Glenn Carlson touchdown pass to Caden Winters. Then the final two minutes, so we were able to get three drives or so in there. A couple of punts and a turnover on downs to end the half. Send us in the break with a score 20 to 7 in favor of Hinton here in this Class A District 1 contest. The Blackhawks, well, they're playing for a lot right now. Of course, they only won two games in 2021 and 2020 combined. They are 2 and 1 this year with their only loss out of district play. So as we speak right now, Hinton is co drivers of the. Uh, of the district race in Class A District 1 with the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks. And we'll uh, uh, get you caught up on how that game is going with MMCRU. Spoiler alert, it's not pretty for the Royals. Uh, so it looks like as long as this score stays the same, which there's no guarantee it will, and as long as that score stays the same, uh, Hinton will be tied for first in the district. Again, this score has to stay the same way for that to happen. Uh, but we'll break down all the scores around the district coming up later on. We'll take a look at the first half stats. All of these are unofficial. We'll start highlighting that great Hinton defense, a great showing by Hinton. Galen Catholic puts up just 53 yards of total offense. That's 54 through the air 
and minus a yard on the ground in the first half. The Galen running attack has been stonewalled all night. What a showing. They've, they've run the football 10 times and have lost a yard net on the ground. Through the air, Connor Kraft is a combined seven for 13 passing for those 54 passing yards. Uh, his top target is Ryan Augustine, who's got three catches for 25 yards. Uh, some other receivers. He's gotten the ball to five receivers so far. Keaton Bonderson has only made one catch. He's lost a couple of yards. 12 yards for Keaton Logan, 17 yards for Brandon Gengler, two yards for Landon Ryder, and Connor Kraft has the only touchdown for the Jays on a five-yard touchdown run. For Hinton, much better showing offensively than what Galen's been able to put together here in the first half. 106 yards on the ground, 40 through the air to combine for 146 yards of total offense. On the ground, the leader right now is Bo DeRocher, and no doubt about this one, 11 carries, 81 yards unofficially on the ground for DeRocher. He had a 37-yard run that he was able to break off uh, in the midst of all of that. You got uh, seven carries for 27 yards for Garrett Lindley and a touchdown run. He had the first score of the night. Through the air, Glenn Carlson is a combined four for nine passing with an interception and 40 passing yards. He was able to find... Uh, let's see. He was able to find Caden Windsor's twice for 15 yards. Bo DeRocher uh, once for 20 yards. And Garrett Lindley once for five yards. Do you want to also mention Dylan Hartman with five yards on the ground on one carry? It was a five-yard touchdown run as well. So I beg your pardon. Uh, changes my numbers here. Forgot to add that in there. Hinton uh, with 151 yards of offense, 111 of those on the ground. As Hinton's offense, Hinton's defense playing outstanding football, the question is going to be, can Galen Catholic come out in the second half and turn things around? What kind of adjustments can they make? Are they going to go to the ground? That's going to be my question here at this point because you, you obviously have not been able to run the ball very well at all tonight. Um, can they go to the ground? Can Hinton... Uh, can they find a weak spot in Hinton's defense right now on the ground? And I, I don't know. The first half doesn't suggest that there is any weak spot as far as uh, Hinton's run defense is concerned. Through the air, uh, Galen's not been doing too bad. Some of those short routes have been there every now and then, and so uh, you give them an opportunity to, to, to do some of that and uh, dink and dunk your way down the field. If Hinton's going to let them, they might as well take it because, as Coach Schindler says, you got to take what the defense is giving you. And uh, if they're giving you those dink and dunk routes over the middle of the field, you, you better be taking them because that's the only way you're getting some positive yardage here tonight. If you're Hinton, uh, if, I, if I'm looking at this contest, and obviously there's a reason I'm a, I'm a broadcaster and not a coach or a player, uh, but if I'm looking at this contest, I'm a little worried if I'm Hinton. The, the second half last week and the third quarter the week before that, I didn't show Hinton's ability to play four full quarters of football. I'm sure that's what Coach Kadrian Harderson's been talking about a couple of times here with the Hinton team uh, in practice uh, this week and uh, all of these weeks, obviously. Um, but, yeah, that third quarter, they gave up 20 or so unanswered to MMCRU, let the Royals back into the ball game, And then you're up 34-0 early on in the third quarter against Alta Aurelia. And they proceed to outscore you 28 to six to finish the ball game. I mean, that's, it doesn't speak well for Hinton's ability to play strong second half football. Now, what does speak to that is their game against Woodbury Central. They were down 21, nothing early. It looked like they were gonna get the doors blown off them and they would just walk out of uh, Moville with a huge loss. But they played an outstanding back half of that football game. They only got outscored 20 to 13 by Woodbury Central to finish off the contest. When you can say that against a team who went to the Dome last year, uh, that's a win as far as I'm concerned. Galen, uh, Akron, anybody who plays Woodbury Central, Akron's playing them tonight. Uh, you can put up a, a strong second half against the Wildcats. You'll take that nine times out of ten. So that shows Hinton's ability to, to play some strong second half football, but the last two weeks have not been there for the Blackhawks, and I'd like to see them play some strong second half football. you got to keep your pedal to the metal. I'm keeping an eye on what they're doing with Glenn Carlson down on the sideline, and I just hope they can get him ready to play some football here in the second half because that's going to be tough. Uh, they have utilized Gabe Anderson, the sophomore. They utilized him a little bit last year. They utilized him in week one. If uh, if Coach uh, Harderson's got the confidence in, in Anderson, I'd say let's try and go to him. 
uh, and give Glenn some more time to rest down there on the field and, and get himself ready to play. I believe Glenn's got a history of uh, injuries in his past too, so that's always something to be uh, concerned with as well. But that's how I see it, our halftime coverage here on KLEM Radio. It is 20-7, Hinton leads Galen Catholic in this Class A District 1 contest. Of course, the Blackhawks are trying to improve to 3-0 in district play. Galen Catholic's just looking for their first win in the district as they try and get back into uh, things uh, in the district standings as it sits right now. Of course, they've only played one district game, but as it sits right now, they would not make the playoffs. So you got to keep that into consideration. Got to get some wins uh, down the stretch. Five games in district play to finish off the year for Galen Catholic football. They really need to start it off with a win. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll check out scores from around northwest Iowa. First, getting you caught up on some Plymouth County action. Some great games around the county. We'll take a break and have some scores for you coming up when you return to Helda Sports Complex here in Hinton. You're listening to Class A District Football here on KLEM. Hi, this is Julie Hurt with Century 21 ProLink in Lamars, your local real estate expert dedicated to results. Whether buying or selling a home, call me, Julie Hurt, with Century 21 ProLink in Lamars at 540-7757. That's 540-7757. Since 1932, Tenninger Insurance has been providing the area with dependable insurance coverage. A.J. Tenninger continues the tradition as an independent insurance agent dedicated to serving you. Tenninger Insurance, Plymouth Street, Lamars. Galen Catholic School, excellence in education, leadership through Christ. For information, check their website at galencatholic.org. East Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Peas Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and of course, Peas Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Peas Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. Campbell's Lawn and Landscape is a proud supporter of local athletics. Hard work and determination is what leads to success, and just like the team, Campbell's Lawn and Landscapes believes the same with their business. Give them a call today at 540-5434. This is Evan Stieg, and you're listening to Jay's Football on KLEM. We welcome you back to the Health Sports Complex here in Hinton. Daniel Verstegg with you on KLEM Lamar's online audio at KLEM1410.com. You can also watch this game live on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. Our halftime score here in Hinton has the Blackhawks on top, 20-7. to Let's take a look at scores from around Northwest Iowa. We'll start in uh, Class A, District 1, where Hartley Melvin Sanborn is blowing the doors off of MMCRU, 54-7. to That score at the half. Woodbury Central leads Akron Westfield. This one's closer than maybe some people thought. 21-7 Wildcats at the half leading the Westerners there. In Class A player football, top-ranked Remsen St. Mary's is demolishing Kingsley Pearson 42 to nothing at the half. Lamar is holding their own with MOC Floyd Valley. That game is tied at 7 at the halftime break. How about some other scores from around Northwest Iowa? Unity Christian leads Cherokee 27-0 at the halftime break of that contest. It's South O'Brien leading Alta Aurelia 14-0. West Sioux's up on Emmitsburg 31-7 at the half. Spencer leads Sioux Center 13-7. It is Sioux City East on, up on Sergeant Bluff Luton 35-7. Western Christian leads Ridgeview 28-7 at the half. Boyden Hall Rock Valley's up on Algona 12-0 in the third quarter. Westwood leads Lawton Bronson 21-20 at the half. Sioux City North leads Bishop Heelan 8-0 in the second quarter. Arweva's up on River Valley 14-6 in the first. Trainers up on West Monona, 34-0 in the third. Glenn Ralston leads Sulean Christian, 8-0 in the first quarter. And Council Bluffs, Abe Lincoln is blowing out Sioux City West, 36-0. That game is at the halftime break. We'll have all of these scores and more on our website, KLEM1410.com, later tonight. Be sure to hover over the Sports tab and click on Sports Scores and Results to catch any of the scores that you may have missed here from another night of high school football. Hinton will uh, kick things off to start the third quarter of action, and we will be underway as the Blackhawks lead Galen Catholic 20-7, starting half number two. Here we go. This one's teed up at the 40-yard line, and getting a boot on this one is Reese Stokes. 
It is fielded at the 10 yard line by Keaton Bonderson. Out to the middle of the field, 20, trying to run east, west, spins back to a defender. He's brought down for a big loss. Bonderson tries to play some hero ball, and the Jays will start first and 10 from their own 15 yard line. Once you start moving laterally like that, it never bodes well. And uh, Galen Catholic will have some uh, tough field position here. They'll start at their own 15 yard line and have first down and 10. Well, we'll see what kind of adjustments Galen Catholic came up with at the halftime break. Again, they trail Hinton 20 to seven in this district matchup in Class A District 1. Galen Catholic coming out toward the line of scrimmage with Connor Kraft in the gun. Two receivers on either side as they line up in the spread. Cale Pearson off his right hip in the backfield. Motions Bonderson left to right. They give it to Keaton on a jet sweep. He's trying to get around the right corner and he does not get there. Big loss of just uh, two yards back to the 13 yard line. Gonna set up second down and a dozen. Second down and 12 here on the loss of two for Keaton Bonderson. Well, that's a good start for Hinton. They are just really swarming to the football here when Galen tries to go on the ground. And the Jays have second down and a dozen from their own 13 with two receivers on either side. Kraft in the gun is back off his left hip. Motions Bonderson right to left to put three on the left side. Kraft drops back, throws the screen pass left side. It is caught with one hand by Bonderson. Takes it left numbers to the 20 and tackled on the far side of the field of the 22 yard line. It's a gain of nine. That's gonna set up a third down and three scenario. Third down and three on the nine yard little screen pass to Keaton Bonderson. And a big third down here for the Jays. They turn the ball over on three and out kind of scenarios too many times in the first half. They got to keep themselves on the field here on third down. Third and three, Kraft in the gun. Dropping to throw, faces some pressure, keeps it himself up the middle. He gets to the 25. He's tackled forward to the 27 yard line. It's a pickup of five. And a first down for the Jays. That's a big first down on the keeper by Kraft. Jays maybe can utilize that to try and keep moving the football up the field on the ground. 10-23 to play here in quarter number three. It's Hinton 20, Galen Catholic 7 here in this Class A District 1 matchup between a couple of county rivals. First and 10 from the 27-yard line. Kraft keeps it right side, and he runs into the waiting arms of Brooks Benabos. Brooks Benabos brings him down for a loss of three yards, and it'll be second down and 13. Yeah, that option play was blown up. You run into a guy like Brooks Binnebos at 6'1", 200 pounds, and yeah, he uh, he can take away the option all by his lonesome out there. Second down and 13 now for the Jays from their own 24-yard line, 9.47 to go in the third quarter. The clock's going to be running here for a lot of the night if they're going to keep running the football, which is going to just limit them on the amount of uh, times they can try and get to the end zone. Out of the gun, they play action, pass over the middle for Ryan Augustine, and a one-handed catch falling to the floor. Augustine makes the catch at the 31-yard line. What a grab. It's a seven-yard completion to Augustine, who makes an outstanding catch, and it'll be third down and six. Third down and six, and a little six-yard pass over the middle to Ryan Augustine, and that's a su such a tough play action play to make. And a great job by Kraft, and here's third and six. He drops back out of the gun, looks to throw deep down the right sideline, under through his man. It is deflected away by Carter Warden. He's looking for Keaton Logan on the right sideline. The pass falls incomplete. It'll be fourth down and six, and the Jays are forced to punt here with nine minutes to go in quarter number three. 20 to seven, Hinton on top. What a great deflection by Carter Warden. Gets up for the football and stops that underthrown pass. And now Galen is forced to kick it away to Warden, who's standing back at his own 40 yard line. Doesn't appear like we're gonna see Glenn Carlson here in the second half, at least not on the first drive. So Keaton Bonderson will hence send this high right footed end over end kick and Warden comes up, fields at the 43, no fair catch. He gets across midfield and he's tackled down to the Galen Catholic 47 yard line. Boy, the time of position battle is thoroughly in Hinton's favor. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I don't need any stat to be able to tell me that here tonight. Galen 
has lost this uh, field position battle all night. I mean, I could just look back. Hinton started a drive at their own 44 once. Every other drive in the second quarter started in Galen territory. And only two drives in the first quarter started in Hinton territory. But here come the Blackhawks. Gabe Anderson takes over at the quarterback position for the injured Glenn Carlson. Takes a snap around the left side. Handoff. It's Bo DeRocher, and he stood up for nothing. Bo DeRocher maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage. Yes, he does. Maybe they'll give him a half a foot. But it'll be second down and 10 to go. Second down and 10 on the carry for nothing for Bo DeRocher. Still has 81 yards on the ground on 12 carries. DeRocher, who's averaging 123 yards on the ground. Just an outstanding running back here for the Blackhawks. Out of the pistol, it's Anderson. He gives it around the right side. That ha handoff is fumbled, and DeRocher is able to pounce back on it, back at the 48-yard line. Losing a yard there is DeRocher. The third down and 11 now. Well, that's one of the aspects that people don't really look at when you talk about a new quarterback, that exchange with the running back. You normally talk about the passing game of the new quarterback, but a new quarterback in there for handing the ball off, that can be a trouble too. See if the Blackhawks can adjust here. Now third and 11, out of the gun. Anderson fakes the give, play action, pass over the middle, got deflected in the air and incomplete. When it looked like Brandon Kangler got his hand on it initially. Keaton Logan almost came down with a one-handed interception diving to the ground. It'll be fourth down, and the Blackhawks are forced to punt once again with 7.36 to play. Here we're in a quarter number three. It's 20-7. to seven. Hinton leads Galen Catholic in this Class A District 1 matchup. Glad you're tuned in. Whether you're listening or watching, we're glad to have you along for high school football here on KLEM Radio. It'll be Reese Stokes to punt this one away for Hinton from the Galen Catholic 48-yard line. Bonderson stands at his own 10-yard line to return. Stokes sends a great kick. Oh, what a boomer. Can it bounce at the five? It rolls into the end zone. That's a touchback. Boy, he put a cannon into that kick. Unfortunately, too much of a cannon. And hit, uh, Galen will start from their own 20-yard line. If that thing could have died down inside the 10-yard line. That would have been an outstanding punt. But instead, Galen will get it at their own 20. They'll have first and 10 as they start their second drive of the second half, trailing still by 13. It's 20 to 7. Hinton on top with 7.29 to play in quarter number three. Jays line up with Connor Kraft under center. Single back. He's got two receivers on either side. Kraft takes the snap. Handoff around the left side. It's Kale Pearson breaking a tackle. 25 up the middle of the field of the 30. Left seam, 33. He's tackled forward after a gain of 13 yards. And a first down for the Jays. And now finally something on the far side of the field for the Jay faithful in attendance to cheer about. It's a 13-yard gain for uh, Kale Pearson. By far the longest gain on the ground tonight for the Jays. And they have first and 10 from the Galen Catholic 33. So out of the I formation, look, Kraft, he'll go back to the well and give it to Pearson. He bounces off tackle, left sideline, 35-40, turns the corner, gets out of bounds. And he's out of bounds at the 40. At the 40, gain of seven for Pearson. Sets up second and three. Well, if you're Galen, you got to bottle up this energy. You, you first got to score. Then you got to bottle up the energy you've got on this drive because right now this is a brand-new Galen football team that we've seen. At least the first two plays have shown that. Second down and three from the 40. Seven minutes to go here in the third quarter, 20-7. to seven. Hinton leads Galen Catholic. Eye formation, Kraft under center. Two receivers right. He takes the snap. Handoff around the left side. It's Pearson running over a defender. Breaking a tackle, 45. Midfield into Blackhawk territory goes Pearson. He's down. At the 47, maybe the 46. It's a 10-plus yard gain. And they've got him down to the 46. It'll be a gain of 14 to the Hinton 46-yard line. It's first and 10. Now Galen has moved the football into Blackhawk territory. This is the first time they've had the ball in Blackhawk territory since they scored in quarter number two. 
Here's first and 10. Kraft, the handoff, left side. Pearson gets across the 45, stood up at the 44, and he's got not much more. Gain of two for Cale Pearson, second down and eight. Second down and eight here for Galen from the Hinton 44. Score update from Lamar's. It's 14 all between the Bulldogs and MOC Floyd Valley. That game is in quarter number three with about three minutes left in the third quarter. Good ball game there between the Bulldogs and a ranked foe in MOC Floyd Valley. How about the Dutch starting 3-0 this season? Good test here for the Bulldogs before they get into district play next week against Storm Lake. Second down and eight from the Blackhawk 44. Kraft takes the shotgun snap, looks to throw right seam. He's got it to Logan at the 36-yard line. The 37, I should say. He's got seven yards. And, well, it's going to be third down. Third down and less than a yard. It's real close, but he's not quite there. Jays will have two tries to get a foot and a half, maybe. And that's a full yard. I'd say that's a full yard from the far sideline. 5.30 to go here in the third. 20-7. to seven. Hinton on top. High formation look for Kraft. Two receivers left, one right. Kraft takes the snap under center. Handoff around the left side. Pearson gets off tackle. Has the first down and more. 35-30. Left numbers to the 25. And he's tackled down to the 23-yard line. He's got a big gain of 13. Or 14, excuse me. And it's a first down. Here for the Jays to the... Hinton 23. Down to the Hinton 23 yard line. Goes Cale Pearson. And now he's starting to rack up the yardage. He's got 62 on the ground now on 14 carries. First down and 10 from the Blackhawk 23. Kraft under center, single back, handoff right side. Pearson cuts back into the middle to the 20. Looking back to reverse field at the 16. And Pearson gets tackled down there at the 16. He's got seven. Sets up second and three. Second down and three, and the Jays are into the Hinton red zone. Again, for the first time since they scored in quarter number two. 4.30 left in the third, 20 to seven, Hinton on top. Here is second down and three. Jays need the Blackhawk 13 yard line. They are still down two scores, and boy, they're taking a lot of time off this clock. I formation, Kraft under center. We've got a whistle, and the Blackhawks are forced to use a timeout. 4.14 to go here in quarter number three. It's Hinton 20, Galen Catholic 7, but the Jays are in the red zone. They'll have second and three from the 16 when we return here on KLEM Lamars. Success is born of skill and team. Like the teams playing, CNOS has combined award-winning skill and teamwork into the premier medical facility in the region. For the areas of joint, bone, muscle, nerve, and brain are treated with the skills of comprehensive care from a team of highly trained experts. And CNOS takes care of many of the student athletes in Siouxland. CNOS is proud to bring you this game. Go to CNOS.net to learn more. Connected Electric South is your electrical headquarters for residential, commercial, and agriculture. Call for a free quote today at 546-5062. Call Connected Electric South for all your electrical needs. 546-5062. Klein Insulation could provide you with a complete insulation system for your attic, crawl spaces, and foundation walls. Call Kyle with Klein Insulation at 540-5691. That's 540-5691. This is Will Harper, and you're listening to Jays Football on KLEM. We're glad you're back here to action. Galen Catholic uh, trails Hinton 20-7, but they can change that here. They'll have second and three from the Blackhawks, 16. Under center, Kraft hands off around the left side. Kale Pearson gets to the 15. He stood up at the 14-yard line, able to fall forward to the 13, and he may have enough for a first down. It's going to be close. That spot is favorable for the Jays. Uh, Well, I thought it was. Where do they got him? They've got him. Oh, they got a face mask on the Blackhawks, and that's going to add definitely get the uh, Jays a first down. I think they had two yards there on the carry by Pearson. But you tack on the five-yard face mask penalty, and that'll easily get the Jays a first down, down to the Blackhawk nine. 
So first and goal for the Jays at the Blackhawk nine-yard line. Galen's got to come away with points now. I formation, Kraft under center. He takes the snap around the left side. It's Pearson breaking a first tackle. He gets positive yard, a positive yard, to the eight-yard line. It'll be second down and goal from there. Well, the Hinton defense has seen themselves make some stands down here at the goal line already this season. Can they do it again? Second and goal from the Blackhawk eight-yard line. Three and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. Hinton on top, 20 to seven. Galen again using a lot of clock. Craft under center, eye formation. Look, two tight ends right, one left. He takes the snap, play action, bootleg right side, looking to throw to the end zone. It's wide of Brandon Kangler, juggling it off the deflection. It's out of the hands of Carter Warden and incomplete. Oh my goodness, Carter Warden had a big chance at an outstanding interception. That would have been a remarkable play as it got through the hands of Brandon Kengler. And Warden was there on the backside. He got his hands on the football, but couldn't quite haul in the pick. So instead, we'll have to take a breath, and it'll be third and goal. From the Hinton eight-yard line, 317 to go in the third. 20 to 7, Galen Catholic on, uh, trailing, needing a score here. From the Blackhawk eight, eye formation with Kraft under center, takes the snap, straight five-step drop, rolls out to his right, being chased from his blind side. He keeps right sideline five, diving for the goal line, and he's in for a Galen Catholic touchdown. Connor Kraft, the head first dive, an eight-yard score, and Galen is back within a possession. It's 20 to 13, Hinton here with 3.09 left to play in quarter number three. An eight-yard run from Connor Kraft. It's his second touchdown run of the ball game, third touchdown run of the year. And the Jays are a point after away from making this a six-point contest. It'll be Keaton Logan to try off the Keaton Bonderson hold. The snap and the spot. The right-footed point after try. It is through the uprights. It's good. 20 to 14, Galen Catholic has gotten within a possession. How does Hinton res respond? We'll find out when we return. You're listening to Galen Catholic and Hinton football here on KLEM. Get a special loan rate from Northwest Bank. Take a vacation, buy a car, or consolidate debt. Use the equity in your home for what you want. Northwest Bank's home equity line of credit special, a 4.99% annual percentage rate fixed for 18 months, then variable rate thereafter, currently 5% APR. This offer is available for a limited time to qualify borrowers. Stop in or call 800-678-4105 for details about credit costs and terms. Apply online at nw.bank. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Commitment you can bank on. Colbeck Incorporated is proud to support local high school athletics. They encourage you to play hard and play smart and always show good sportsmanship. Best of luck from your friends, Brian, Kevin, and Wayne Colbeck. This is Ryan Augustine, and you're listening to Jays Football on KLEM. Well, we've got a new ball game as we welcome you back to the Held Sports Complex here in Hinton. Daniel Versteg with you on 1410 AM and 96.9 FM. It's KLEM Lamar's online audio at KLEM1410.com. You can also find a link to the online video stream, but that's also on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. Galen Catholic has made it a one-score ball game. It's 20 to 14 in favor of Hinton with 309 left in the third quarter. This ball game is now anybody's as Keaton Logan will send the right-footed boot high end over end. It's a short kick. It bounces in front of Carter Warden at the 18-yard line. Live football picks it up at the 20. Tries to reverse field, and Ryan Augustine trips him up by his shoelace at the 22-yard line. A good job, a shoestring tackle, quite literally, for Ryan Augustine. And Hinton will take over up by six. 3.06 to play here in the quarter number three. And the Hinton offense is tasked with trying to get back into the end zone. Gabe Anderson still out there at quarterback. Glenn Carlson has taken his shoulder pads off, so I would assume he's done for the rest of the night. Anderson out of the pistol set. He has three receivers right, a tight end to the left side of the formation. We've got some movement on the line. And this is going to be a false start on the Blackhawks. Galen Catholic. Fans across the way now have something to cheer about. As Hinton commits a false start penalty right out of the get-go on this drive. So we'll have first down and 15 upcoming. 
End of the third quarter, MOC Floyd Valley and Lamars are tied at 14. At Jim Lorenz in the field in Lamars, Bulldogs are trying to head into district play with a three and one record. That can always help the RPI. 3.06 to go in quarter number three. First and 15, Anderson turns to his left, gives it around the left side, Bo DeRocher trying to break through some holes. He's got positive yardage to the 19. So just a pickup of two for DeRocher. He's gonna set up second down and 13. Second and 13 here for Hinton on the Bo DeRocher carry. Great night for football, great night out there in Plymouth County. We're glad you're tuned in, whether you're listening on the radio, watching online, listening online, however you're paying attention to this contest. We're glad you're tuned in, and we're glad to be bringing it to you right here on KLAM. Second down and 13 for the Blackhawks from their own 19-yard line. It's 20 to 7, hint, or 20 to 14, Hinton leads. Anderson under center, pitch play right side to Rocher. Cuts up the right seam, 25. He drags a defender to the 26-yard line. It's a gain of seven here for Bo DeRocher. And he's got third down and uh, probably about six. Go six yards on that. Big play for the Blackhawks. An absolutely monster play. Third down and six. They got to stay on the field. They can't put that defense back out there. Got a whistle. And... Timeout. Galen Catholic calls a timeout with a minute 53 left in the third quarter. 20 to 14. Hinton on top. The Jays want to talk things over ahead of a big third down and six. Galen's defense wants to get off the field. Find out how it happens when we return on KLEM. Focus, determination, and teamwork are just a few qualities needed to succeed in sports and in school. At Northwest Bank, attention to these same qualities is important to us. Our goal is to provide you with the best products and banking solutions. Best of luck, athletes, and keep reaching for your goals. Member FDIC. Kemp's Dairy of Lamar's is a proud supporter of area athletics. They focus on strong, healthy bodies with all their dairy products, and they continue to strive hard to provide the best possible dairy products to their customers. That's Kemp's Dairy of Lamar's. Hi, this is Misty Zek. This is Brock Nohava. Hi, this is Happy Phillips. I'm Carissa DeRocher. This is Dave Close. Hi, this is Austin Sitzman. Hi, this is Jody with Exit Realty Midwest. Exit Realty Midwest is proud to support our area athletes. Find them online at exitrealtymidwest.com. This is Brandon Gangler, and you're listening to Jays Football on KLEM. And we welcome you back to Hinton as Gabe Anderson throws short of Carson Pierce and incomplete on third down. And six, so the Blackhawks have fourth down and six upcoming. And will be forced to punt it away here to Galen Catholic. So for the second time in this third quarter, the Jays have forced the Blackhawks into a three and out. And Bonderson stands at his own 35-yard line, ready to return it. It's 20 to 14, Hinton leads with a minute 48 to play in the third. Three Stokes takes the snap and sends the high right-footed wobbling punt. Back to the 37-yard line. Bonderson takes that left seam, 40, 45, left numbers, breaks the tackle, 49. He looks to reverse field all the way back to the right sideline. He gets some room, 45, 40, 35, 30. He's in the open field, and Bonderson takes it all the way back for a Galen Catholic touchdown. No flags on the play. It's a 63-yard punt return touchdown for Keaton Bonderson. Starting from the left side of the field, getting all the way back to the right, and this game is tied at 20. What a play by Bonderson. That time he reversed field and got all the way in for six. 63-yard return for Bonderson. That was another one of those plays where you say, oh, no, 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 and... Turned out to be, oh, yes, 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 if you're Galen Catholic. Now tied at 20. Point after upcoming here for Keaton Logan with a minute 29 left in the third. Bonderson the spot. A right-footed kick. It is through the uprights. It is good. And Galen Catholic has the lead back. It's 21 to 20. Jays lead Hinton. A 63-yard punt return touchdown for Keaton Bonderson. It's his spe second special team score of the year, and the Jays lead by one. We're back with more high school football after this from Hinton here on KLEM. 
Hey, Bobby Blazer, how long have you been waiting in that line? Head over with me to Easy Clean Car Wash. They're going to get you in and out in no time and make that black coat of yours look like a million bucks. Say, thanks there, Mickey Mustang. I've been out four-wheeling and i got lots of mud and stuff in my wheel wells and <clears throat> other places as well. Bobby, didn't Libby Lexus tell you that Easy Clean Car Wash will pre-spray those hard-to-reach places, give you a quick massage, and make you feel and look like a whole new truck? So that's what Libby Lexus has been up to. You know, Mickey, she's looking fine. Easy Clean Car Wash on 12th Street, East of Hy-Vee and Lamar's. Lamar's Community Athletic Boosters are proud supporters of this broadcast. Hard work and determination are vital to the success of our area athletics. The Lamar's Community Athletic Boosters are proud to stand behind our athletes and coaches as they work towards success on the field and in the classroom. This is Jeremy Schindler, head coach for the Galen Catholic football team. You're listening to Jay's Football on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, KLEM. And we welcome you back to the Health Sports Complex here in Hinton. Keaton Bonderson racks up a 63-yard punt return touchdown. Galen has their first lead in over a quarter of football as Keaton Logan sends the kick back to the three-yard line, bounces into the end zone for a touchback. And Hinton will have first down and 10 with a minute 29 to go at their own 20-yard line. Well, that's, uh, man, that is not Got to feel good if you're the Hinton side of the field right now. They've given up two touchdowns here in the third quarter, one offensively on a four-and-a-half-minute drive, and now they get a punt return touchdown. Minute 29 to go here in the third, 21-20. Galen Catholic with their first lead since the beginning of the second quarter. How does Hinton respond? It's Gabe Anderson. Lines up under center. The sophomore taking over for the injured Glenn Carlson. He takes the snap, fakes the give to the fullback. He's got the keeper on the left side of the 25-30. Into the open field. He gets upended. He's down by contact at the 35. It's a 15-yard completion or a carry by Gabe Anderson, and he is now down on the field for an extended period of time. Oh, my word. What a keeper by Gabe Anderson. But now the attention is on the sophomore quarterback as he is slow to get up as well. He got upended and then kind of somersaulted forward after the play. And now they're getting the third string quarterback warmed up here on the Hinton sideline to try and take over. And that's gonna be Cole Friesen, the freshman, who's trying to get warmed up here. Boy, Hinton just cannot catch a break tonight, man. Gabe Anderson starts off this drive after Galen scores two unanswered touchdowns. He starts with 15 yards on a great carry. Looks like Hinton's going to start with something here, and then he stays down after the hit. We'll take a short break. Back with more high school football after this. Hope for some good news here from Anderson after this on KLEM. Hummer's Lawn Care Service will provide you with the services needed for the best-looking lawn in your neighborhood. Is it thatching, fertilizer, or simple maintaining of your freshly cut grass? Call Hummer's Lawn Care at 546-4087. Hut, hut, hike! Hey, Don King here from the Orange City Ace Hardware. We are happy to have a huge selection of what you need to keep your home a happy one. From Eagle battery-operated power tools to paint, kitchen appliances to apparel, we are even happier to support our area athletes and their families. Orange City Ace Hardware. At Arnold Motor Supply in Lamar's, they understand service really does make the difference. They'll take the extra step to help you find the right part. The first time, every time. At Arnold Motor Supply, service really is the difference. We're proud to be... When it comes to service, your Lamar's hy is number one for shopping both in-store and online. Save with the Fuel Saver Plus Perks Rewards Program at hy where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. This is Connor Kraft, quarterback for the Galen Catholic football team. You're listening to Jay's Football on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, KLEM. Gabe Anderson comes off the field under his own power. Good to see. Now Cole Friesen, the freshman, takes over at quarterback, and he gives it to the fullback around the right side of the 38-yard line. Should be Garrett Lindley on that carry. Set up second down and seven. And it looks like it was Hindley, or Lindley, excuse me. Garrett Lindley, second down and seven upcoming here for Hinton. 
Well, Gabe Anderson's walking around. He's he's giving a, a quick uh, dap up to Glenn Carlson there on the bench. So it looks like Gabe's going to be all right. Maybe just keeping him out on the sideline precautionary here for a little bit. But he's got his helmet back on. That's a great sight. So here's second down and seven as Cole Freese and the freshman quarterback still taking over. He's under center. Three men in the backfield. Takes a snap. Hand off left side. Gets to Bo DeRocher. Bounces off tackle. Shedding tacklers. 40 hurdles over a block. 45-50. And he's into Galen Catholic territory at the 47-yard line. Now there was a reason he was state champion in the high jump. Bo DeRocher. 15 yards and a first down to the Galen 47. The state champion jumper getting a head start on track and field season with a 15-yard carry. He's over 100 yards on the night. It's first and 10 for the Blackhawks of the Galen 47. And that will take us into quarter number four. The Blackhawks have some much needed momentum as they head into the final 12 minutes of the night. They hold up four fingers. It's 21 to 20. Galen Catholic up on Hinton. Don't go anywhere. Why would you? You're listening to high school football here on KLEM. Protect your property, your home, and your land. Contact Iowa Abstract Land and Title Company for your information to update and record for your property protection. Iowa Abstract Land and Title Company. A home is a safe place to be. A roof over your head and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. Williams & Company Certified Public Accountants congratulates all area athletes in support of excellence, good sportsmanship, and the spirit of teamwork. A proud sports sponsor, Williams & Company CPAs, your full-service business advisor with a local office in Lamar's. This is Aiden Spangler, and you're listening to Jays Football on KLEM. And we welcome you back to the Held Sports Complex here in Hinton. Daniel Verstag with you. Blackhawks at first and 10 of the Galen 47. Gabe Anderson returns to quarterback. Pitches it right side. Bo DeRocher, 45. Shedding tacklers. He falls forward to the 40-yard line. He's got seven to set up second down and three for Hinton at the Galen 40. Seven yards for Bo DeRocher. And yeah, keep feeding him the football. At this point, he is... Moving an entire offense as Hinton trails by a point here. 11.40 left in regulation. 21-20, Galen Catholic. Good to see Gabe Anderson back on the field. He's under center. Three men in the backfield. Tight end right. He gives it to Garrett Lindley. Bounce off the first tackler. Drags a defender to the 38-yard line where he stood up and stopped. It's a gain of two. It'll be third down and a short one. Third down and a short one on the carry by Lindley. So what do we have? No, wow, they gave him a first down. They're moving the chains. It's first and 10. Our officiating crew is calling for a first down. The Lions judge doesn't want to move the chains. All right, our white hat calls for a first down. Galen Catholic's pleading for a measurement of some kind, but they're not going to get it. It's going to be first down here for Hinton of the Galen 38. Now they got to wait for the chains to get set up, and here we go. Wow, that's a generous spot if I've ever seen one. Here's Anderson under center. Two receivers right. He gives it to the fullback right side. Lindley gets across the 35. He's hit hard at the 34. It's a gain of four. It'll be second down and six. Garrett Lindley with the fullback sneak. Second down and six. To the Galen 34. Hinton trails 21-20. 10.48 left to play in regulation. Here come the Blackhawks to the line of scrimmage on second down and six from the Galen 34. Carlson, or uh, Anderson, excuse me, goes under center. He pitches it left side. Bo DeRocher trying to get off tackle and does to the left numbers. 30 to the 25, down the sideline, 20, 15. Broken tackle to the 10, to the 5. And Bo DeRocher is into the end zone for a Blackhawk touchdown. 
Bo DeRocher gets into the end zone. It's a 34-yard touchdown for the Blackhawks, and they lead this one 26-21 with 10-29 left in regulation. What a run by DeRocher on the far sideline. He was able to tiptoe the boundary and get in for six. He's got 145 yards on the night, and he's finally into the end zone for six. And now, do the Blackhawks go for two? They're going to have to. Their kicker's on the sideline with Glenn Carlson. So here they go for two, trying to go up by seven. Anderson in the gun. He takes a snap. A handoff is fumbled to Lindley. Anderson rolls right and then gets brought down for a loss by Gabe Wilchin. So the two-point conversion is no good, but Hinton is back on top here in quarter number four, 26-21 Blackhawks. In district play, don't go anywhere. We've got 10:29 left in regulation. You're listening to high school football here on KLEM Lamar's. East Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Pease Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and, of course, Pease Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Pease Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. For all your construction needs, trust Wilchin Brothers Incorporated. They're a Better Business Bureau accredited business and will be there every step of the way to get your project done right. Call 546-4135. This is Keaton Bonderson, wide receiver for the Galen Catholic football team. You're listening to GA's Football on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, KLM. And we welcome you back here to Hinton, Iowa. Gorgeous night for high school football brought to you here on KLEM Radio. Our score, Hinton 26, Galen Catholic 21. How about a 34-yard touchdown run by Bo DeRocher? And the Blackhawks are back on top by five as Galen Catholic will receive the kickoff from Reese Stokes. It's a line drive squibber field at the 22 by the up back taken out by Landon Ryder, 35-40. Break of the tackle to the 42 and Ryder is out of bounds, losing the football at the 41. Now yeah, we'll say the 41, that's all I'll go with. Galen Catholic will start first and 10 with their, with 10-24 left to play in regulation from their own 41 yard line. Well, the Jays find themselves once again behind in this one. It's 26-21, Hinton on top. And 10-24 to play in regulation. Timeout check, both teams have two timeouts remaining. So it may not be the clock management game down the stretch that we're used to seeing with both teams having three timeouts, let's say. And we'll see what happens here. Galen Catholic starts first and 10 for their own 41. Craft in the gun, four receivers. Drops to throw. Blackhawks rush four. He throws the out route right side. Augustine makes the catch of the 45, and then he gets tackled by his horse collar at the 48. It's a gain of six for Ryan Augustine. It would set up, or seven, excuse me. It would set up second and three, but this penalty might add on some more. It's either going to be a face mask or a horse collar, and I think we got the horse collar. No, it's a personal foul face mask. So tack on another 15 to the seven yard completion to Ryan Augustine. And the Jays will have first and 10 into Hinton territory. So from the Galen 48, they'll get a first down now on a penalty. That is up to the Hinton 39 yard line, my goodness. Blackhawks. Spot, or the Jays have the ball spotted at the Blackhawk 39-yard line. Now with 10-19 to go in regulation. High formation, Kraft, handoff around the left side. It's Cale Pearson lowering his shoulder, running into a defender. He's stopped at the 36-yard line. It's a gain of three. It'll be second down and seven. Second down and seven. Cale Pearson finally starting to heat up on the ground. He came into the half with... Just five positive yards on the night. He's now at 75 positive yards. Second half has been much kinder to Pearson in the Galen ground attack. 
Jays down five. Here's second and seven. Play action. Kraft looks to bootleg right side. Throws toward the sideline. And it is hauled in by Brandon Gengler inside the 30 at the 29. It's a pickup of seven by Gengler. It'll be first down and 10. And we've got a whistle, and a J is down on the play. Galen Catholic has a player down after the hit to Brandon Gengler. He did pick up a first down, but now we got to check and see how he's doing. It's been a very physical contest, lots of strong hits, and well, the, both teams have faced their fair share of players down here tonight. With 9.36 to play in regulation, Hinton leads 26-21 on Galen Catholic. The Bulldogs also went up by a touchdown. They lead 21-14 over MOC Floyd Valley in the fourth quarter of that contest. Elijah Doherty with the touchdown run, 10-51 to play in regulation of that contest from the last update that we got anyway. Well, I want to remind you, coming up on KLEM Radio next week, it's going to be all Lamar's Bulldog Athletics. We'll have Bulldog Volleyball on Tuesday night. The Bulldogs hosting Sioux City West in a Missouri River Conference uh, volleyball matchup. We'll have the coverage from the Bulldog Gym on Tuesday night. And then Lamar's travels to Storm Lake to start district play next Friday night. We'll have the coverage for you, but again, pregame at 6.15. We won't be able to video stream that contest. Uh, you can thank the Storm Lake uh, Athletic Department for that one. And, well, their inability to recognize that uh, people want to cover games. So, uh, thanks Storm Lake for that one. Here's first and ten. Hand off around the right side. Cale Pearson gets positive yardage up to the 25-yard line. A pickup of four will set up second down and six. Brandon Gengler was uh, helped off the field. He was able to walk a lot of the, uh, under his own power. And, of course, that thought with uh, Storm Lake not allowing us to stream next week. Uh, brings us our uh, great gratitude to Brian DeYoung and the Hinton Athletics Department here for allowing us to video stream this contest. It's because of schools like Hinton that we're able to bring you these uh, video streams here on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. So thank uh, Mr. DeYoung and the Blackhawk administrative staff. Here's the handoff right side. Cale Pearson gets across the 20 down to the 17-yard line. He's got eight yards and a Galen Catholic first down. Galen Catholic's got a first down to the Hinton 17-yard line. Into the red zone goes Galen Catholic, down 26-21 with 8.56 left to play in regulation. Clock will start rolling now with the chain set. First and 10 at the Hinton 17-yard line. Now the Jays are in a good spot after Hinton missed the two-point conversion. A touchdown without the point after try would give the Jays the lead. Here in the single back look, Kraft goes under center. Two receivers either side. Blackhawks bring a blitz off the edge, and they get to him. Pearson gets brought down for a loss of two. That was a great blitz from Dylan Hartman. Back to the 19. It'll be second down and a dozen. Dylan Hartman gets in the backfield. He's got another TFL. Tackle for loss for the... Linebacker Hartman, and it'll be second down and 12 now for the Jays. Hartman came in tonight with no tackles for loss. I think he's got at least one and a half now. Eight minutes left in regulation. Jays down five. Eye formation look for Kraft under center. Two receivers left, one right. Gives it around the right side on a handoff. Pearson gets stood up at the line of scrimmage. He is able to fall forward and get back to the original start of the downs. It'll be third down and 10 on the pickup of two. By Cale Pearson up to the 17 yard line of Hinton. So, two plays, and the Jays retrace their steps. They're up to the 17 yard line of Hinton on third down and a long 10. Blackhawk defense needs to make a stand here and keep the Jays out of the end zone. Galen trails by five, 724 left in regulation. Two receivers on either side. Kraft in the gun. He takes a chest high snap. Three step drop. Throws deep toward the left corner of the end zone. He's got Ryan Augustine for a touchdown. Ryan Augustine makes the diving grab on the left sideline for six. And the Jays lead by a point. It's 27 26. Galen Catholic, 7 14 to play in regulation. Ryan Augustine with a touchdown reception, his first of the night. It's from 17 yards out, and Galen's back on top in a seesaw fair here in Hinton. It'll be a point after try now upcoming here for Keaton Logan after the 17-yard strike to Augustine. He's got six, uh, six receptions, 55 yards, and now a touchdown. Here comes the point after from Logan. Try and put the Jays up two. Snap of the spot. Bonderson's hold. Logan's kick. 
is in the inside the left upright and good. It is 28-26. Galen Catholic is back on top of Hinton. 7-14 left in regulation. Hinton has a big chance to respond when we return. You're listening to high school football here on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, KLEM. This is John from Siouxland Glass. You're busy. Let me help with pickup and drop off of your vehicle included in your service. Call 712-540-9080 for auto glass repair and replacement. The Lamar's Agri-Center, your local source for Scott's lawn products, top-performing Kent feed products, a full line of agronomic inputs, bulk grass seed, bird feeders, bulk bird feed, and outstanding service. The Lamar's Agri-Center, your source for everything that grows. Advanced Eye Healthcare, Dr. Becky DeRider knows all of our student athletes need to keep their eye on the ball. Make sure with an eye exam at Advanced Eye Healthcare at Walmart Vision Center in Lamar's, Dr. Becky DeRider. This is Trevor Morris, and you're listening to Jays Football on KLEM. We welcome you back to the Health Sports Complex here in Hinton. Daniel Verstegg with you on 1410 AM and 96.9 FM. That's KLEM Lamar's online at KLEM1410.com. You can also watch this game live on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. Our score, Galen Catholic 28. Hinton 26 with 7.14 to play in regulation. 17-yard touchdown pass to Ryan Augustine. The difference so far. And this kick by Keaton Logan gets into the end zone for a touchback. The Blackhawks will start first and 10 from their own 20. 7.14 left in regulation. This game is far from over. You're going to want to keep it tuned right here to KLEM. Update from Jim Lorenzen Field. Lamar's trails MOC 22 to 21. The Dutch get a touchdown with 2.55 left in the game and convert the two-point try to go up by one on the Bulldogs in Lamar's. MOC Floyd Valley, the number seven ranked team in class 3A football heading into this week. Here we go, back to action here. Hinton has the football down by two. It's Gabe Anderson under center, eye formation. Pitch play, right side, DeRocher goes off tackle. We've got a flag of the play as DeRocher gets to the 30, 35, right numbers to the 40. He's got 20 yards on the carry, uh, but there is a flag in the backfield, and so we will hold our excitement for the moment. Yep, it is going to be a hold on the Blackhawks. And so they'll lose 20 yards back to the 10. And it'll set up first and 20. With 7.06 left to play in the ball game, a 20-yard gain turns into a 10-yard loss. Ah, bad break there for the Blackhawks. Great run by Bo DeRocher. He is just out physicaling, if that's even a word, the Galen Catholic defense at this point, running over defenders and juking them out. And boy, he, he runs so well. There's no doubt he's going to be a a force here the rest of the year for Hinton. It's first down and 20 now for the Blackhawks for their own 20-yard line. Gabe Anderson will try and see if they can get the Blackhawks out of this hole they're in now. Anderson in the gun, two receivers right and one left. He takes the hip-high snap, pump fake short, looks left, evades a sack, throws it deep left sideline. Bonderson's picked it off at the 40-yard line. Keaton Bonderson for the second straight week has a pair of interceptions and Galen will start first and 10 of the Hinton 40. Another underthrown ball, another Galen Catholic interception, and another Keaton Bonderson pick. And so Galen will have a chance to go up by two scores now. Well, barely by two scores. They can go up, I guess, as much as 10. Realistically, if they score a touchdown, they'll go up by nine which would technically still be two possessions, of course. Well, here we go. First down and 10 for the Jays from the Galen 40. Eye formation look. Handoff right side is Cale Pearson. Gets stood up at the 40-yard line and goes nowhere. He goes nowhere. It's uh, second down and 10. Now for Galen Catholic. Be sure to tune in tomorrow morning to KLEM Radio. We'll bring you the KLEM Coach's Corner as... Galen Catholic coach Jeremy Schindler and Lamar's community head coach Ken Vigdahl will join us to talk about their contests here this week. Second down and 10 for the Jays. 
from the Hinton 40. 6.14 left to play in regulation. Jays by two. Eye formation for Kraft. Two receivers left, one right. Takes the under center snap. Handoff around the right side. Pearson being dragged bound by his jersey, and he gets brought down for a loss of the 41-yard line. The Hinton defense again coming up big. They still need to do it one more time. It'll be third down and 11. Boy, outside for maybe the, la the, the first quarter and a half of this second half, the Hinton defense was stellar, stopping the ground attack, and they need to find that here again in the final six minutes in quarter number four. That's a great start. It'll be third down and 11 now for the Jays, the Blackhawk 41-yard line. Here we go, another eye formation look for Kraft. Under center, receivers on either side. He takes a snap, play action, rolls to his right, looks back over the middle of the field, overthrows Bonderson. Oh, it is in and out of the hands of Gabe Anderson. It's incomplete. Anderson had his hands on an interception of the 25-yard line on the overthrown ball. It'll be incomplete. Fourth down and 11 upcoming here for Galen Catholic. Well, it's a punting scenario for the Jays, no doubt about it. 5.22 left in regulation. And Keaton Bonderson will line up deep to kick. It'll be Carter Warden to return. And the play clock's already down to five seconds. Galen Catholic is wasting a lot of time with two, with one. They don't have everybody out there, and we're going to get a flag for a delay of game here for Galen Catholic. I guess that's not the worst thing in the world if you're the Jays. It gives... Bonderson some more room to try and pin it inside the 20. But that does back him up to their own 40, or to the hinted 46 yard line, I beg your pardon. 5.22 left to play in regulation. It's Galen Catholic 28, Hinton 26. Jays trying to get their first win in district play. It is no easy task. Hinton trying to go unbeaten in the district still. That is no easy task. Here comes the punt now. Bonderson gets away. A line drive, spiraling kick. Warden lets it bounce inside the 10 and a great read. It gets out of the end zone for a touchback. And Hinton's going to start from their own 20. Well, you see that kick coming in high and tight to you with a lot of speed. Yeah, you just get out of the way of it and hope it bounces right. First and 10 for Hinton. They'll have it at their own 20-yard line. Blackhawk offense was good two drives ago, getting into the end zone. They need to dig down and find that once again. It's first and 10 for Hinton at their own 20-yard line. 28-26 Jays, 5-16 to play in regulation. Gabe Anderson goes under center. Two men in the backfield as fullbacks, one as a tailback. They give it to the tailback. Bo DeRocher straight up the middle. He stopped for no gain at the 20. No gain for DeRocher. It'll be second down and 10. Now that's a tough start for the Blackhawks. Got to keep moving the football. Each team has two timeouts remaining as we across five minutes to go in the contest. 28-26, Galen Catholic. I should say we left in regulation. There's no guarantee this ball game will be over in four minutes and 45 seconds. Of course, Hinton fans know that from a couple of weeks ago anyway, playing an overtime period against MMCRU. Second and 10 from the 20-yard line. Out of the pistol look is Gabe Anderson. Two receivers, right, one left. He takes the chest high snap. Looking to throw. Passes over the right seam. He got it over Kraft and finds the target in Carson Pierce. They tried to strip the football away from Pierce, but they say he's down of forward progress, and it's a first down on the completion of Pierce. It's a gain of 11 for Carson Pierce and a first down for Hinton. Big completion to Pierce. And he, uh, he fought for just long enough to get a first down and keep the football in Hinton's possession. 4.20 to play in the game. 28-26 Galen. Under center, a three-man backfield with two fullbacks at a tight end left as Anderson goes under the center. He pitches it left. It's Bo DeRocher breaking a tackle up the middle across the 35, drags a defender to the 40. He's across the 41 to the 42-yard line. Bo DeRocher has 11 and another first down. Yeah, that is exactly what the doctor ordered for the Hinton offense. It'll be first and 10 at about the Blackhawk 42, just short of the 42 maybe. 3.55 left in the game. 28-26, Galen leads. 
Hinton trying to score. Anderson under center. He takes the snap, gives to the fullback. It is Lindley to the 45-yard line. He's got three. Second down and seven. Three yards for Garrett Lindley. Second down and seven here for Hinton. Still in their own territory at the 45-yard line. 325 in regulation. Both coaches have two timeouts remaining. Galen Catholic coach Jeremy Schindler. At this point, he's hoping he doesn't have to touch those with a 10-foot pole. And if you're coach Kadrian Harderson, use them wisely. Second down and seven for the 45. Three men in the backfield. It's Anderson taking the snap, pitches it right. DeRocher gets back up the middle. He's got positive yardage to the 49. He's got four yards on the carry up the middle on the toss. It's going to set up third and two for Hinton at the 40, well, actually third and three. That's not a favorable spot for Hinton. Third down and three on the three-yard carry by Bo DeRocher. From the Hinton 48-yard line. Man, that's a tough spot. I thought DeRocher got to the 49 on that tackle. Nevertheless, third and three at the 48. Three-man backfield for Anderson. Under center, gives it to the fullback, Lindley. He's fighting for yardage. They gave him two to midfield. It's going to be fourth and one. It's going to be fourth down and one at midfield. And we've got players slow to get up. They're just trying to peel the bodies off the pile there. So here we go at midfield. It is fourth down and a yard. The game in the balance here potentially. Minute 57 to go in regulation. The Hinton crowd gets behind their offense. From midfield, it's fourth and one. Anderson under center. Three men in the backfield, tight end right. Jays move. We've got some motion. Who's it on? I think it's Galen. And it'll be a first down for Hinton. If that's the case, we're going to get our lines judges to talk with our white hat about it. Galen definitely got across. They're pushing the Galen defense back. And the Hinton crowd celebrating. What do we have? Oh, this is such a big call. Oh, they called false start on the Blackhawks. They call false start on Hinton. It's going to be fourth and six back to the 45. Oh, what a game-changing call. So fourth down and six is upcoming here for Hinton of the 45. Minute 36 to go in regulation. The clock is moving for the Blackhawks who trail by two. Now this really changes things. Minute 25 to go. Blackhawks have eight on the play clock. Fourth down and six. Anderson in the gun. He's got three receivers left. One right. Two seconds on the play clock. Anderson gets it snap. Five-step drop. Dumps off the screen, and it's picked off. It's Will Harpenau at the 40, 35, 33-yard line. He stood up there, and Will Harpenau, the nose tackle, picks off Gabe Anderson to seal off the win. Galen Catholic will have first and 10 from the Hinton 32-yard line after the Will Harpenau INT. The nose tackle sticks his mitts in the way of the pass. And Galen has it at the 32-yard line. Hinton has two timeouts with a minute 10 to go. So they can, I don't know how they're going to be able to use these now. If they are able to force three and out, there's not going to be much time left. So here's Galen from the Hinton 32. It's Kraft under center, high formation. Quarterback sneaks straight up the middle. It's across the 30 to the 29, and Hinton wants their second of three timeouts. Three-yard carry here for Connor Kraft. It'll be second and seven when we return to Hinton, Iowa. What a ball game this one is. We'll be back to see how this one turns out after this on KLEM Lamar's.
Get a special loan rate from Northwest Bank. Take a vacation, buy a car, or consolidate debt. Use the equity in your home for what you want. Northwest Bank's home equity line of credit special of 4.99% annual percentage rate fixed for 18 months, then variable rate thereafter, currently 5% APR. This offer is available for a limited time to qualify borrowers. Stop in or call 800-678-4105 for details about credit costs and terms. Apply online at nw.bank. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Commitment you can bank on. This is Evan Stieg, and you're listening to Jays Football on KLEM. We will be back. Minute eight seconds to play in regulation, 28-26. Galen Catholic leads Hinton. They have second down and nine. Lamars just goes up by two. Giovanni Cabongo with a new program record, 41-yard field goal, has the Bulldogs up two with five seconds in regulation. What a ball game at Jim Lorenzen Field. What a ball game here. High formation, Kraft under center, second and nine. He's got the quarterback sneak. He's still standing up. Gets a yard of the 28-yard line. That'll bring up third down and six, and Hinton has to use its final timeouts. Well, we'll take this timeout as well with a minute five seconds to go in regulation. It's 28-26. Jay's on top. See how this third down turns out when we return here on KLEM Lamar's. Certified public accountants, Crews and Crews, extend their support to all the athletes and remind everyone, in the spirit of sports, participation is more important than winning. Cruise and Cruise Accounting, proud to be a sponsor of KLEM Sports. Whether you're building, remodeling, or renovating, choose the professional that you've come to trust. OH Livermore Construction. From commercial to residential, remodeling to a complete renovation, contact OH Livermore Construction for a free estimate today. 540-6247. OH Livermore Construction, Lamar's. Williams & Company, certified public accountants, congratulates all area athletes in support of excellence, good sportsmanship, and the spirit of teamwork. A proud sports sponsor, Williams & Company, CPAs, your full-service business advisor with a local office in Lamar's. This is Will Harper, and you're listening to Jays Football on KLEM. Well, we welcome you back here to the Health Sports Complex in Hinton. Daniel Versteg with you, third down and seven upcoming. It's 28-26, Galen Catholic. The Blackhawks are out of timeouts with a minute five seconds left to play in the game. Kraft under center, play action. He bootlegs around the right side, trying to keep the play going as long as possible. Right sideline, 25, breaks a tackle and has a first down to the 22-yard line, maybe the 21, and that will be your ball game here from Hinton. Connor Kraft picks up a first down on the bootleg. And Galen Catholic will exit Hinton with their first win in district play. 58 and a half seconds to play. A new set of downs, and the Jays will improve to 3-1. And 1-1 one. And one and one in district play. They can line up in the victory formation. Kraft goes under center. He kneels it down once. He'll have to kneel it down one more time. But the Jays are winners here. What a ball game this was. Here from the Held Sports Complex. Hinton's going to lose this one, but, man, that is a really good football team, and this is going to be a football team with a lot to play for in the second half of the season. Of course, they'll host Westwood next week for their homecoming contest. But this one ticks down, and Connor Kraft can kneel it out one final time, and the Jays will improve to 3-1 and one overall, 1-1 one and one in the district, but they improved that record by the skin of their teeth. Kraft kneels it down one more time, and this ball game is over. Here from the Held Sports Complex, your final score, Galen Catholic 28, Hinton 26. When we come back, we'll have post-game stats, break down the action for you, and get you caught up on scores from around Northwest Iowa. That's all coming up on our post-game coverage. From Held Sports Complex, our final once again is Galen Catholic 28, Hinton 26. We're back with our post-game after this here on KLEM Lamar's. At American Bank, we believe in offering you what you want in a bank. Free checking, free debit and ATM cards, extended lobby and drive up hours, competitive loans and deposit rates, online and mobile banking with bill payment and mobile deposit services. American Bank, achieving success together for over 130 years. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. It's the corner for fashion. Clausen's on the corner downtown Lamar's. For men's, young men's and ladies clothing, a shoe department and formal wear too. In-store alterations, gift cards and personal personal service. Clausen's on the corner, downtown Lamar's. 
Score big with the Sitzman Real Estate Team. Hometown realtors Shane, Peggy, Lance, and Patty are cheering the Lamar's Bulldogs and Galen Jays on to a victory. Buying or selling? Call the Sitzman Real Estate Team today at 546 7881. Does it bug you to drive through a car wash to get the bugs off and all you get is a wet car with the bugs still there? Then drive with the Easy Clean Car Wash into Mars. With Easy Clean State of the Art technology, you'll be in and out in just minutes with a bug free shine. And a tenant will assist you. They'll pre wash the hard to reach areas to get those bugs off. Choose from a single wash or a gift card where you'll receive the six wash free. Or how about an annual pass with unlimited washes for a year? Satisfaction guaranteed at Easy Clean Car Wash just east of High V on 12th Street in the Mars. Easy Clean Car Wash, making it easy. Who has time to sit and wait and wait and wait to wash your car? Choose Easy Clean Car Wash. We'll have you in and out in under four minutes with a shine that will make people talk. Easy Clean Car Wash, making it easy just east of High V on 12th Street, Lamar's. Floyd Valley Healthcare wants you to play at the peak of your skills. Don't forget to stretch your muscles, hydrate, and schedule your wellness checks to reach your full potential. Best of luck from Floyd Valley Healthcare in Lamar. A home is a safe place to be. A roof over your head and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. Young and old alike, enjoy the competition of high school sports. Some participate, some watch, and some remember how it was. It's only a game, but it offers great life lessons and memories that last a lifetime. A few thoughts from Dan and Lori Rexwinkle of Rexwinkle Funeral Homes in Lamar's in Akron. It takes a strong body and a strong mind to make you an athlete. So train hard and play smart. Play with confidence and always expect the unexpected. This message was brought to you by Van Sanitation and Recycling, proud supporters of local athletics. Prime Bank is pleased to support educational opportunities at Galen Catholic and Lamar's community. We're proud to support our students in the classroom, on the playing field, in the band room, on stage, or in any extracurricular activity. Prime Bank works hard to help all of our children excel in their endeavors. Member FDIC. This is Ryan Augustine, and you're listening to Jay's Football on KLEM. And we welcome you back to the Held Sports Complex here in Hinton. One final time for our post-game coverage as Galen Catholic escapes Hinton with a 28-26 victory. Uh, what a great ball game it was. Let's break down the action for you on an outstanding night of high school football here in Hinton. First, uh, the second half breakdown. Galen entered the second half. Uh, trailing 20 to seven, and then they outscore the Blackhawks 21 to six in the second half to finish off the uh, win here in this one. We'll take a look at the scores uh, or, or the stats as well coming up in just a little bit once we get those tallied up. Here we go. The drive charts here in quarter number three. Both teams uh, started with punts, and then Galen Catholic got things rolling with a 10-play 80-yard drive in four minutes and 20 seconds, an eight-yard touchdown run by Connor Kraft that made it a one-score game, made it 20 to 14. Hinton would then punt on their next possession, and then that punt was returned. 63 yards by Keaton Bonderson. Galen led 21-20. Hinton's drive that took us from quarter number three to quarter number four would get into the end zone. 34-yard touchdown run by Bo DeRocher. Seven play, 80 yards. It was 26-21. to Hinton led. The two-point conversion was no good. Then Galen Catholic got the football back. Eight plays, 59 yards. Connor Kraft find Ryan Augustine for a 17-yard score. The uh, try was good, 28-26. Galen led. Hinton's next drive, their first play after a penalty. Keaton Bonderson picks off the pass. Galen would have to punt on their next drive. Hinton gets the ball back. They get all the way to their own 45-yard line. And then Will Harpenau, the nose tackle, picks off Gabe Anderson. And that pretty much sealed it. It was fit, finally sealed after Connor Kraft ran for a first down on third and six with about a minute to play in the contest. And that's how we get to a 28-26 final score. 
Some of the stat lines here tonight for Hinton. The Blackhawks finished with 259 yards of offense, 208 on the ground, 51 through the air. Galen Catholic, 316 yards of offense. How about 109 rushing, 107 passing on a balanced night of football. Some of the leaders, Cale Pearson, 24 carries, 86 rushing yards here on the night. Connor Kraft, 9 carries, 25 yards. He had two touchdown runs. Connor Kraft also completes, let's see, he completed 13 of 21 passes for 107 passing yards and a touchdown. Ryan Augustine, six catches, 55 yards, and a score here tonight for the Galen offense. And Keaton Bonderson, of course, the 63-yard punt return score for the Jays. For Hinton, uh, again, running the football was their bread and butter. Bo DeRocher, 21 carries, 159 yards and a touchdown. It was Garrett Lindley. He had 12 carries, 41 yards. He got to the end zone for six uh, once in the contest. Dylan Hartman with a five-yard touchdown run. And then Glenn Carlson, he goes four for ten passing the football for, let's see, 40 passing yards before going down with an injury. He also had a touchdown in there and an interception. His touchdown ended up going to Caden Winters. He had two catches, 15 yards, and a score. On a great night for high school football, the game lived up to the height of two 2-1 two teams. An unbeaten team in the district loses for the first time in district play this year. Galen Catholic gets in the win column with their first district win of the season. Galen will improve to 3-1 and one on the season. They're now 1-1 one and one in district play, heading into the second half of the regular season. Hinton is a good 2-2 two and two football team. They are 2-1 and one in district play. They host Westwood next week before finishing off the year with Akron Westfield in Akron, Hartley Melvin Sanborn here in Hinton, and South O'Brien up in Paulina. Galen Catholic will be on uh, at home next week. They host Akron Westfield in a continuation of district play. We'll pick up the Jays two weeks from now in Paulina when the Jays take on South O'Brien. Let's check out scores before we send you on our merry way here on another Friday night of the high school football season. Boy, we have had some great contests here on KLEM Radio, starting off with Galen and Unity Christian, then the Jays uh, blowing out Lott and Bronson. Uh, Lamar's had a great shutout win over Bishop Heelan in week two, and now we have this one. Outstanding ball game. All right, some scores from around the area. Hartley, Melvin, Sanborn, they beat MMCRU to take sole possession of first place in the district, 66-34 that final. Remsen St. Mary's dominates Kingsley Pearson, 49 to nothing. How about this final score uh, from Lamar's? Giovanni Cabongo, a 41-yard field goal. It's a new program record, and the Bulldogs beat MOC Floyd Valley by a final of 24 to 22 on the field goal with five seconds remaining in regulation. What a great job by Coach Vigdahl and the crew. They'll enter district play next week at Storm Lake with a 3-1 and one record. We'll uh, step out of Plymouth County for our other, or no, we'll go back into Plymouth County. Woodbury Central leads Akron Westfield 41-7. to That game is in quarter number four. Unity Christian beat Cherokee 35 to nothing. It was West Sioux over Emmitsburg. Uh, that game is in the fourth quarter still, 45-14. Falcons, Arweva leads River Valley 45-30 in the third. Glidden Ralston leads Siouxland Christian 30-6 in the third. South O'Brien narrowly escapes with a win over Alta Aurelia, 14-7 the final. Spencer beats Sioux Center 29-7. Sioux City East beats Sergeant Bluff Luton 42-14. Western Christian over Ridgeview 42-7. Boyden Hall Rock Valley beats Algona 19-7. Westwood beat Lawton Bronson 29-23. Trainer Blanks West Monona 48-0. Kemper Catholic beat MVAO COU 55-12. And uh, Council Bluffs Abe Lincoln beat Sioux City West 36 to nothing. Some great high school football. We'll be able to chap, uh, chap it up, chat it up with uh, the Lars uh, football coaches. The Lars community head football coach Ken Vigdal will join us tomorrow morning. So will Galen Catholic football coach Jeremy Schindler. They'll both have nail-biting wins to talk about, and I'm sure we'll have a lot to dissect with those two on the Coach's Corner. Starts at 8.05 tomorrow morning. We'll help you tune in here on KLAM Radio. But that'll do it here for another night of high school football in Plymouth County. Thanks for tuning in. A great contest for Galen Catholic. And, boy, don't let that 2-2 two and two record for Hinton fool you. They are an outstanding football team and will continue to be an outstanding football team the rest of the year. That'll do it for our broadcast here tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks to the Hinton uh, School District for allowing us to stream and broadcast this contest here from the Held Sports Complex. For my wife, Erica Versteg, who is running the camera for our video stream, I'm Daniel Versteg saying so long, and thanks for listening to high school football right here on 1410 AM and 96.9 FM. KLEM Lamars. Good Friday evening, everyone.
This is 1410 KLEM Lamar's and on 96.9 FM.